for video. Mew. Mew, mew, mew. I mean, just what a tragedy that this movie would have been, man. If that would have been the ending, that? That, I would have laughed so hard if that was the ending. It must have been like, oh. you would think it would be like, no, no, that's a spoof, right? That's yeah. like, we're, we're getting nope. punked right now. Do nope. kids still say getting punked? Oh. No. I... I, so do you think if a kid called right now and I said, hey, do you know the saying, did you just, you just we got get punked? punked? Am I being punked? They is Ashton no Kutcher here? And they won't even know who Ashton is. No. Dude, Ashton's an actually really good guy. Yeah, he is. Did you do, know what he was going to do with his twin brother? Do you know he has a twin brother named something? Bastion. <laughs> that he's, that he's, it would suck to be his twin brother because his twin brother's is it not, not, not identical? Not identical, and he's dealing mm. with some things and stuff. He was going to give him, like, what, a kidney or a liver? Yeah, he went or... up, he went, when they were kids, like 12 years old or whatever, his kid, his twin brother's in the hospital, basically dying and needs something. Mm-hmm. And his they couldn't find him. Ashton, which his real name is Christopher. Um, and his, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, and his dad went up to the roof of the hospital, and he was debating whether to jump or not to give his... So then his brother would have all the organs? Yeah. And here we are. What the hell did you do for somebody this week? I try to, uh, I ignore phone calls and the off chance that they ask me for just like help with something real quick. Dude, we got to be better. We, we need to make a change. I don't like. We need to use our platform and our somewhat of celebrity to do more in this, what we, we can do we at this brought, time in this world. What are you talking about? We brought uh, awareness. To what? Misty. True. That's um, when our show was good, though. You know, we're really... Well, that's when... That's when um, that's when our show yeah, was good. That's when the Obama phone still worked. The free cell phone that Obama... They all <laughs> ran out of minutes. <laughs> and I feel... Honestly, I don't know what happened. I don't know. We used to take a lot more calls, and now... Well, we used we to get more calls. Oh, F it. They call us. I want to see if we know who you are. Unless you're 3430. Yeah. Like, we get that you know how a phone works. You know who I really want to call? Is um, Cindy Parker, and I demand an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Like six weeks, like 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 a minute ago, you were like, "I want to reconcile with Cindy Parker." Like, I'll call hey. for an apology, and then now it's like, "No, you say sorry to me." <laughs> I'm for real though about this, man. I need to change. I need to do better. I'm I'm not kidding. I feel like we're not offering enough to. Well, what, I don't well, know what we can do, but I feel like with tell a little one bit story of the celebrity, about Ashton Kutcher about to jump off a building, well, and you're like, I never wanted to jump off no building. Well, that's and he so also I, stops I, sex traffickers. Yeah, and all that. And like, what are we? What are we doing? I don't know. It's always this. about us. Yeah, damn right always. it is. That's why we got into this career. I know, but now it's like I don't know. Should we be doing? I'm hit forty, man. I've like I feel like I can't live the lifestyle of a twenty year old anymore. You're just not. can't booze it up. <laughs> You're not. Yeah. Even though we did, we did drink twice yesterday in a, a, a somewhat rapid fashion, and um, I got concerned that that I was going to get pulled over because I don't drink like that. Oh, like I haven't drank like that in a while. Like the quick drinking. You mean just downing it? Downing two of them within five minutes. And uh, I I was thinking, I was like, if I get pulled over, I think I'm screwed. And then I thought about you. And I was like, if Jake gets pulled over, oh my God. He's so, like, you're cutting weight. So it's like, I'm fat. So like, I got stuff that can help me. But not like, you don't that, have as much fat. Not only that, but one of those. And you don't m- drink? Uh, those, um, what, what, what were you downing? Ice. What is it? Smirnoff, yeah. which by the way, don't don't say what you want, but it's four point five percent. So whatever. And like I just said, we're we don't uh, dieting. Drink. We don't drink a lot right yeah. now. And I didn't eat yesterday. Yeah. And, and plus, we didn't eat. So what? What? Whatever. And whatever. We're still men. Anyway, um, and I one spilled all over, and I have an open bottle in the it went, spilled all over in the back, and I dumped it out. But then there's just a empty, empty bottle, bottle just sitting right there. Yep. I would have had to eat the bottle. Yeah, you would have had to figure. Just shove it up. Yep, <laughs> sit on it really quick, <laughs> sir. Can you get out of the vehicle? I'd rather not. 
from the museum um, right now. I love those smeared out because one broke obviously in the back of your van, and um, you were like, "Oh man!" And I like stuck my nose in your van, and I was like. It don't smell like alcohol. No. It's that's dude, alcoholics should really think about drinking those. Hey. Do why is the squeaky chair back over here? I don't know. I don't touch any of the chairs. This is ridiculous. Uh it's Drake, man. What's Drake doing in here? Can we he talk about Drake yet? Here. Yeah. Uh probably. I don't know. Call him. He ain't gonna answer. We've done this year for years and he never answers. I can't yeah. Can we say it? That he's leaving? What? What? Who said that? I don't know. I if... wanted to, we wanted to break the news before him. Yeah. I don't know if um if we should say that Drake Shh. We don't know if I don't know. Did you Here, just nobody listen. Should we have said What's Do you that? think we can say that he's leaving? Can, hold on really quick. At the end of the month? Probably not. Yeah, you, we can not. sneeze it. Hold on, everybody wait. Drake's leaving at the end of the month. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, I like geez. if he had like, oh, I'd be so pissed at a morning show that took that away. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, hey, no. this is my thing. I was supposed, I was gonna announce but, something. But when? Well, I don't know. And what are we even talking about? I guess a week. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't announce it when we left IXX until it was a week of. I was talking to Angie about this. Who? Just, um, just a little bit ago about us leaving IXX. And people, and people went to bars. I didn't realize that, that we. <laughs> it sounds so egotistical, and who really cares? But I didn't realize that we connected with so many people at IXX mm-hmm. until we were leaving. Until then, you bastards come out of the woodwork and we, and and say that you didn't want us to go and that you're going to miss us. I mean, there were there were. I I still remember this one where a mom calls and says. I have my I have my 18 year old all the way down to like 10 year old kids, mm-hmm. and we're all in the kitchen sitting at the sitting at the table listening to, to your last to show. your last show, and I haven't seen my kids all together at the dinner table in years. Yeah, and then you immediately said, "Well, that's because you're a bad mom." I'm telling you, <laughs> do, do, do you know what my first said yesterday? She was talking about something. She's like, yeah. Yeah, or other. She's like, "Do you know this family doesn't eat dinner together?" Because we always eat dinner yeah. together. And I'm Even like, That's- as we do it too, um, and it's hell. It's not enjoyable, but you're supposed to do it. Yeah, you're and supposed it's be- to. It's, it's better fun. for it's the kids. Right. But anyway, yeah, I didn't realize back to the IXX thing and about us. It's our show. Yes. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that we connected with people in that short of time. See, that's why I started saying, like, hug your loved ones. Because I, I was like, if you effers would have shown us that kind of love, when we were still here. I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad they didn't. I was like, we probably would have never left. We would have never left. Because I remember going there chance. and I said that a few times to Angie. I go, I think right in the beginning, I go, I think we Tanner made and I made, made a mistake because we were I, we didn't know that people were listening. Because to be honest, IXX ratings, is they're always so big yeah. that you, the impact that you have when you get ratings back, it's like, well, they went so up did a point, average but, yeah. Joe or whatever before us. They He, he was doing... Well, too, so you, uh-huh. you, it's really hard to judge. But I, God, I, I remember telling Angie that boy, I think Tanner and I messed up because but we started we started we at Ground Zero over there. We started at Not- Ground Zero. I, I'm sorry, at KTI when we left and went to Milwaukee, no listenership. So we had oh. to build that, and oh. we didn't do it. <laughs> not even not <laughs> not even just Ground Zero. They had just flipped the station from a completely different format. So like they didn't even have. Like, I think when we left, we had finally looked at the numbers, and it's like, guys, look, we had just reached uh, uh, the same cume that, that the, the call letters had um, when they were an automated station. <laughs> Jesus. I remember. This is fun, too. And we'll get we'll get off the, like, the radio thing of it, because um, nobody cares. But again, I care. Our show. It's I care, and okay. you're, I'm the only one that you're talking to. That's true. We should leave again so these people appreciate us. <laughs> right, do I don't go? know if we'll have the same <laughs> impact, man. I'm telling you. I tell well, Angie. Who knows, I, man? I don't. We, you're we're right. gonna have to leave. I got that in and in and go. Okay. Okay. Nice. That means I'm gonna have to be the janitor well, and sales. Yeah, you're okay. gonna. You're gonna. Okay. It's, um, I do really bad at sales, but I'll do this. Oh well, yeah. Well, I'll be your sales manager. Okay. Perfect. Which is unfortunate because I don't manage well. <laughs> so we went. Dayton used to work here in the morning. He used to do mornings in PD or whatever mm-hmm. here. 
Dayton Kane, right? Yeah, or no? What yeah. was it? Or was it just Dayton on the radio? Uh, it was or, Dayton Kane. Dayton Kane. Okay, love him. Nice. His listen, last name isn't really Kane. He is. If you are related to him, you know him. You know that he is one of the coolest, nicest guys on the planet. He he is the uh, he's the Ashton of this. He yeah. was ready to jump off buildings to give uh, Jake and I livers. Boy, that's really true. And we went to that one place at that picnic table. Do you remember this? Yeah. And he goes, that, uh, "Why are yeah. you so scared?" Because he was trying to talk us into taking the job before we signed into Mo- signed the contract over in Milwaukee. And he goes, "Why are you guys so scared?" of signing this paper he goes we it's gonna be Why? so great in five years from now we'll come back to the same picnic table yeah. and we'll be all laughing because how successful and we'll be rolling in money oh. and now you and i are doing a morning show where back he used here, to and he's selling windows at pella yeah that's how different that's how different the world is and i remember every day we were like we were like we need to be able to have creative control because we know that our show is a little unconventional, but we know it also works. And you're talking and about you, the, uh, still at the at, same at the the picnic, picnic table. table. And, and he was like, "I don't know why you think that you wouldn't have that." And then we we're like, "You're right, Dane. You're oh, a good yeah. guy." Oh yeah, and I asked and him then, like three like times. I said, times, "Do I like, you want, want our, our show? show, the one that we are doing?" He goes, "I want you to do exactly what you're doing at IXX, but just say the KTI call letters." Yeah, and we were like, "Okay, fine." And then, um, and then we sat two in his hours office. Later. <laughs> two hours later, it was the worst. Um, and then uh, we sat in his office, and we were just like, "Man, this doesn't feel right." And he's like, "Why do you guys think we're all gonna lose our jobs?" <laughs> and then at one point, he was crying to me, <laughs> going, "I don't know what I I bought a house, and now oh. I because I remember going, should I buy a house?" And he's like, "I rem- yeah, I don't know, yeah, I remember." We were like, man, should we like set down roots and stuff here? And he was like, yes, absolutely. And then one day it was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we should do Back anything. Back to what you said when we asked that we need creative control. Um, you had it, that in the contract, but what were you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> and then the first day, no, maybe it was the day before or whatever, we had to go to not only our boss, but our boss boss. Yeah. And he had to look at our clock hour and give it a once over to see if he liked what listen we to this. were about to do. You're going to go on air tomorrow. I want to see what is prepared for tomorrow to see if I like it. Not I. I'm saying Steve Wexler. Cool guy, by the he, way. Yeah, he was. I liked him. But he had. That's what I'm saying. When it gets to that point, when you get higher and higher like that. Yeah. Uh, they A suit was going to tell you. If you are a, going, that a, material a guy, is going to be okay and the listeners are going to like that. A guy in a suit. Yeah, a guy who hasn't done radio. Like, he was a VP of radio, but he hasn't done radio in probably 20 years. His radio is different than our radio. And that's yeah. why I always say, like, I, Robin Quiver said that about Howard Stern. I have no idea why people try to control him because literally everything that guy has ever set out to do and has ever done on radio He's made happen and become very successful at it. Mm-hmm. Syndication radio is because of that dude. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't people just didn't believe. It's so crazy that in uh, before Howard Stern started syndicating, people didn't. Damn it. I know. 30 seconds, man. Yeah, I know. We couldn't fit 30 seconds in. Now we're talking. Commercials um, are getting in the way. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, so. Uh, People were like, Howard Stern, you can't put your show in a place where you don't live. Like, How is that ever going to work? And then it did work for him. Yeah, You would think that right there people would be like, oh my God, you don't right. have to be in the same market for it to work. Yeah. And, and yet when you and I have syndication meetings, it's all like, how will a show work when you don't live there? And it's like, what you guys the are going to stop are you being. Talking about? I like the thing where it's like, I don't want. When we have a syndication meeting, when there was a possible syndication, the words were said, well, you guys will stop being local. And then we go, we're never local. Yeah. Because we're, the only time we're local is when we talk about IXX. And yeah, the only time we're ever local is when we talk about IXX. And then there was that one time when we accidentally got local. Remember when we were talking <laughs> yeah. about that turkey? Yeah, and it was and like, then, oh my and God. And then halfway through the story, it was like, and, and that's what happened in Howard, in uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> it was <laughs> local. Yeah, it was local. We got so happy, and it was all by accident. Yeah, back to the Howard Stern. I got, and I'll play this thirty-second commercial on the song. We will get out of here. He, um, 
they said syndication won't work for your, a radio show. Yeah, and he goes, but it works for Letterman. Like you're, it works, uh, for, the, it works for the TV. The TV. Why couldn't we do that? Yeah. Anyway, all right. Let's. We're late. Commercial song. Be right back. Um, hi, it's the Jake and Tanner show. Good morning. Hey, 
Kiss FM. So we, what you're saying there, we were just talking about TikToks for a second. And I'm like, you got to get a different tick. You got to get on different TikToks because you and I share the same videos. Like I'll have videos that I want to show yeah. you or you'll tell me. And I'm like, yeah, I've already seen that. Yeah. And when, what did you just say about your TikTok? Because I got I want to piggyback that. Uh, my Kayla and I were going through my TikTok yesterday, and then like every third video was just like a woman dancing, and and, and she was like, "What the hell?" And I was like, <laughs> "Well, I was like, it's a, uh, I was like, they're not my liked videos; they're just my for you." And she now gets it because I used to say that, and she'd be like, "Oh, okay," but now she was like, "Yeah, but they." It's for you. She's it's starting like, to understand. Like, she's she's getting the algorithm. She's like, they show you stuff you look at the most. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's weird. I think I might have made a new one. Jake might probably got mine. She's becoming woke. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's like she's a kid woke. realizing like, dad's drinking in the morning. That doesn't seem normal. <laughs> Vodka and orange juice. I thought every dad does this. Uh, I tell Angie. I'm finding out that adult soda just means beer. When I want it, when I scroll backwards. To show Angie a video, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I got to get back to it. And, like, that happens. It's like, boob, right boob, left boob. Yeah. Pop. But, 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 but. but, but. <laughs> and I go, damn, Tanner, because I use the Jake and Tanner show damn TikTok. You! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I just go, oh, oh, man, Tanner's at it again. She's like, boy, he hasn't had any in a while. <laughs> and I'm like, it, well. It has been a while. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's just. You, you know. um, you brushed up against me yesterday. Yeah, I know. And I had to. Well, all that stuff we did. Mm -hmm. Did you tell Angie about any of it? Can I tell you something about yesterday? Yep. Yeah, I, I, I think, think there was a line crossed. And then we did one video past it. <laughs> <laughs> that one? Because so, like, I wasn't line. the recipient of the one. By the way, we're talking about JTX. We're, we were filming some videos for JTX. And uh, th I wasn't the recipient of one of these, so yeah. I didn't feel as bad until I until it got played back, and then I'm like, okay, it felt like rape a little bit. The second one, though, I broke character because I go, I can't. This is just I'm talking about the one where <laughs> yeah, it's, no, 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 I know the one that because the one where I was the recipient, <laughs> that felt like that, that we we found the line and we just towed over it a little bit. And then you and I <sighs> did one more, which was you couldn't even turn around and see the line anymore. No. I told Kaylee yesterday, I was like, <laughs> you remember a few years ago when Jake and I took that picture for the photo or for the JTX where he was sitting on my lap and we were both uh, naked and I'm not even sure I wasn't in him. <laughs> at, when you look at that poster, it's like, it's like I, I was <laughs> oh there. My God! I said, I, I was like, that's no longer the gayest thing I've ever done. And uh, she she wanted to know what it was, and I said, "You know what? You'll see." Because I, I don't even to... like I like thinking about it. To me, look at what, look at that. And what happened to you? Peanut butter. Is that when I bit you? No. The peanut butter did that to me. The jar. When I went, <clears throat> dude. Yeah. Okay. Every, I wake up when I go to bed, I don't want to do JTX because I'm tired. Yep. I wake up and I'm tired and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. And then when you're away. It's so exciting. Yeah. Like what we've been filming and what we've been doing is super pumped. It's going to be a blast. Mm -hmm. Text JTX to 71090 um, or go to 959kissfm.com. I'm, I'm. Good tickets. That, October 22nd to 23rd. Go ahead. The game that we, um, the game that we filmed yesterday. I that's what I'm the most excited for. I am too. I told you Be because um, the crowd, I think, is going to have just a plethora of dude. This year's this laughing. year is so fun. <laughs> yes, and this May, I even told you yesterday out of the blue. I go, do you want to retire the JTX after this? I think for at least a year. And you said I'm down with that because it puts so it, so much ridiculous amount of pressure mm -hmm. and and. And work that's involved in doing this. Yeah, Once, daddy. What you're doing, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But the tears. But the tears. And the, the videos that the we film. <laughs> I just don't know we if have, I can do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We. How do we go? Like, imagine if we did it next year. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the line we're going to cross there? It's just eventually just going to turn into it's where people are watching a smut film. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, that's just what it's going to be. We're going to be two guys standing in front of a screen and saying, and now here's us having sex at a Walmart. <laughs> and then it does that. And then and then we'll be like, did you guys like it? Okay, Here okay, we okay, go. okay. Here's listen. us making love 
in a parking lot we, of not a Walmart. We have tickets that are still for sale for this. All you got to do is text JTX. What, honestly, on the text line, why are you not buying tickets? Does it not? I mean, by the, by the way, tickets are selling for this thing. I mean, they are, and they're getting close to selling out. But I'm just curious if you're on the verge or if you, why are you not buying it this yeah. year? Did you not have fun last year? Have you not? I would love to know, are the, is it priced too high? I don't even know what the tickets are. What do they sell? What do they sell for? I, I don't even know. Uh, 25. 20, so 50 bucks for a couple to go. Is it price too high? Is it on a bad weekend? Which, by the way, it was a Packer weekend, which was yeah, not. I wish we would have looked into that a little bit deeper. Yeah, it just wasn't ideal. It's just what the Meyer could do. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, they were just like, this is the only option we I have. I love when we went to the meeting yesterday because we had to go to the Meyer And right away, the guy, which is super nice, he was back there and he's I, like, hey, rules. <laughs> This year, no, <laughs> I loved no, that. Yeah. When he was like, "Okay, guys, some ground rules: no food, no food or pies. Can't do it anymore." Um, yeah, which is lucky because just like a week ago, we had got rid rid of our food game. We did. Thank God, it wasn't their decision to get rid of it, and it was our decision to get rid of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, why are you not going to the JTX this year? Let us know. Um, Again, and be completely honest. Did you not have fun last year, or was or it too time. much fun? Yeah, that's I. That's what I like to. Or did you? Or is it not like you've never heard of it before? Mm-hmm. Like maybe you're a new listener, you haven't heard of it, or maybe the tickets are too pricey, or maybe this is the first time you're hearing it. Whatever it is, I would love to uh, know of this. Text seven ten ninety. Also, yeah. if you're interested in doing this, text JTX to seven ten ninety. You're gonna have fun. It's a couple hours of just craziness. Um. This person said, I'd love to go to JTX, but I work. Should I call in? Call, yes. Give us the number. We'll call for yeah, you. Well, we will ask for that day off for you. Another person said, I work. We did it two days. If you work both of those days, we will pick one day for you to get off. Yeah. We'll get you off. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get you off. Yeah. We're good at getting people off. Yeah. We've done this before. We've done it before. And were they satisfied? I was, mean, yeah. Was it a job well done? I would say so. I'm going both nights. Oh, look at you! Yeah. Oh. I don't have anybody to go with. Who cares? You're gonna you're gonna find so many people there that that listen. It's they're like minded people because if you like this show, they like the show. You're good people, so just go that way. Sydney won't be there. How do you know? She might be in the audience. Yeah, you don't know that. By the way, we had I, FYI, we had our part was we had nothing to do with that. That was yeah. all COVID and management on that. Yeah, I I'm don't want to go alone. I hate people. Boom! There's two people right there. We're calling both of them. No, the phone. Oh, the supervisor. Yeah, is that nine six nine? Yeah. Ooh, Marion. Um. Wait, 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 what's your name? What's your name? We got what, What's the other oh, person's yeah, we name? Need your name. Which you, you got to hurry. What is your name? Name, name, We're name. dialing. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Marion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what a great 2206 said something that's... ...is not available. Record your message at the tone. When we'll call her back. Yeah. Can you write down that number? Do you got something over there too? Yeah, I got you. Okay. And then we can get her name and we'll call her back. Somebody made a really good point about this, man. I the saw. hotels are 350 plus a night due to the Packer game. So it sucks that sobriety is a factor because before they were just walking drunk to their hotels or getting an yeah, Uber or yeah. whatever. Oh, ass. I, I thought that oh, might be a thing too, where people are just like, um, they don't want they they don't want to drive home. Like if they're coming from Oshkosh, which is an hour away, or yeah, Fondy. God, can I? I'm not blaming that on us. No, it's not on us. It is on everybody fa- else. There's a lot of factors this year that I think have caused it not to sell out. Let's it's call this like Marion we, again. Okay. I have the girl's name. Her name is Shannon. Okay. I need the num num. Oh, the not. Uh, um, I can't just say it to you, but here. What are you doing over there? I'm trying to get. I found where it was. Oh, oh, thank you. Nine two zero. Yep. Oh Jesus. 
There's so many numbers I'm it's looking at. It's the highlighted one on the bottom. Oh. Damn it. Hang on. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. All right. Sports Center. Somebody said, come on, guys. I knocked my wife up. So? So I have a DD for JTX. Hell Jan, get a, yeah. What are you doing? Get a DD. The, oh. Uh, that. Shannon. What day do you want to go? It doesn't matter. We're picking it. Yeah, we'll pick. Oh, by the way, you got to buy tickets. We're not giving them to you. Yeah. What the hell, Marion? Sorry. Marion Anderson. Well, I'm done with Marion. Yeah. I'm going to fire her. Yeah. Can we fire a supervisor to a place we don't work? Yes. I like this. I'm driving to JTX from Watoma, almost two hours of driving, and we're doing it. Man up! Oh, wait, you know what? She is on vacation today. Boy, it doesn't sound like you know anything about your supervisor. Yeah. Boy, I, I'm not liking you. You know what? I don't even want you to be. You you no, should work. I, I I'm going to actually, there. I want, I, I'm going to call Mary and ask her to have you work a few weekends in a row. I, uh, I would like you to be there. Look at this. We're, we're coming from West Bend and booked a hotel when you were just hinting at the dates. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we, uh. Well, we didn't even hint it. What we did was we gave out the dates, and then we uh, went into our boss's office, and he was just like, okay, so, yeah, those are the dates. Uh, we announced it this day, and we're like, oh, good. Good thing we know. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Aaron Rodgers is pissing me off. Ooh. I mean, just with the picture thing from years ago, and now this. What? Now what? Him having a Packers game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he he makes the schedule. People don't he, know that. Well, he has to because they got wear they wear a lot of different hats there. And one of those, not only does he have to be really good at being a QB, but is also as he writes, He's he scheduled, does all he the, does schedules the schedules for like even the ushers and everybody. He has mm-hmm. to schedule everybody that works at Lambo. So it's a, I get it. Can you write? Can you send an email to whoever, Mr. Aaron. Lambo or Aaron, and just say, can you move it? Mm. Can you move the game for us? Yeah, We're doing I, something. I'll send that out there. Um, you know what else I heard? The head coach there, he during timeouts and stuff, he is the peanut guy that throws peanuts. It's COVID. Everybody I mean, wears I, different hats. Yeah, I mean they probably lost a little money during COVID, yep. and yeah, I get mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You're talking about the furry. Yeah, yeah, the furry. The furry. That's what they call him. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming from Algoma, and I just rented a bus and then bought a row of seats. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. that is beautiful. Yeah, I really. Now, honestly, just go. I You are good. This year is better than last year, and last year was fun as hell. So yeah. you're going to have a good time. Or you're not. Yeah, but or you're not. It doesn't and matter then. Yeah. You went. Yeah, you already went. So <laughs> just don't go. Like, go. This is what I suggest. Everybody should go Friday, right? Because then you can be like, dude, that was super fun. And you can tell people, I want to go again Saturday. Right. Let's go buy more tickets for Saturday's show. Because it is, even though it is the same pre-produced stuff, it's going to be different shows each night. Right. You know that we're not very well prepared. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you get it, so get a chance, buy the tickets. It is getting closer and closer to selling out. Um, we just want to, because we're radio people and we have egos, we'd we like it. to, yeah, we'd like it to be sold out. Um, so JTX to 71090, or, you know, you can go to 959kissfm.com. We're going to play just a few commercials and, um, and, uh, and we'll, we'll play a song and come right back. I think if the song's not too long. I got something. Dude, I'm hating. I don't know why I dislike this celebrity so much. I want to see if you agree with it. Not okay. She is gorgeous. Mm. But I just, I don't know what about her. I don't, I'm starting to dislike. Mm. And maybe it's because she hurt our fellow man. Oh, she's a woman. And we'll talk about it next.
Hi, good morning. It's the Jake and Tanner show. When is um sound check for which, JTX night? Which day? Saturday. Saturday is at six. Okay. Doors open at seven. Yep. People start filtering in, and then um, eight o'clock the show begins. And then uh, just a quick time share seminar. Yep. Everybody will receive one. Count them one donut hole. Nice. Do not try to take two. We only planned for enough one for each person. And that's a, a, that's small, a quick one. That's like fifty five minutes. Yeah, that one's only fifty five minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, and then after that, you will, uh, everybody will get will pass around uh, one thing of Capri Sun. Okay. Just take a. It's like church. Yeah. You just take a. <gasps> yeah. We should have done a JT communion. Can you write that down? Where that's it was perfect. Uh, perfect. You have to take a bite of pizza and take a drink of... The JT beer. The Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Text uh, JTX to 71090, or um, that's the Corks and Caps text line. Um, and you can get all the information for the JTX show happening in a couple weekends. Or go to 959kissfm.com, whatever. Yeah. You do you. Yeah. Do you, baby. Yeah, baby girl. Hey, um, this girl, I, I think she is gorgeous. You do not. Ooh, this could be a plethora of people. And um, but for some reason, I don't know what it is about her. She's real close to having a personality to me, like Demi Mo- or not Demi Moore, uh, Demi Lovato. I never thought that until recently. I think she. I don't know. I feel like I'm really mad about how she treated the one guy that you and I both like. I am so. <laughs> Are you? Confused. Let's play let's play twenty questions and see if you can get her. You can play along in the text line too, seven ten ninety. Or call us. But don't do that. No, actually do that. Has she had plastic surgery? I would say no. It's not Angelina Jolie. No. Twenty questions. Is she I over your- the age of forty? No. What is, what's my, what's my, um, what's yes, that? Yes, no, not sure. No, 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 but what is the, oh, the game we used to, with that dude? Akinator. Akinator, okay. Do you want to see if Akinator could get her? Yes. All right, you pull up Akinator. Are you plugged in? Plug into my hole over here, and then we can get this. Oh, no, there is no sound. Okay, Don't worry right. about it. Okay. Hello, I am Akinator. All right. I would like to play. Let's okay. go. Uh, character? Object or animal? It's a woman, so... Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. That's a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a bad joke that Jake wrote down for me to say. Uh, character! <laughs> yeah, holy up, David Blake. Uh, is your character from a Japanese anime? No. By the way, Accunator, if you we've done this bit a long time ago. This thing is so spot on. You just think it, the Accunator goes through these kinds of questions and it guesses whatever you're thinking. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Okay, go ahead. Does your character live in South Korea? No. That's a weird question. Is your character real? Yeah, because yes. it's an actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, is your character a girl? Yes. Okay. Does your character personally know you? No. It's weird. Does your character create music? No. Ooh. Is your character a singer? I feel like that question was just asked twice. No. Is your character a YouTuber? No. A lot of no's. Is your character married? Um, can you stand? Yeah, I'm standing. Okay. Um, I will stand by. Um, no. Uh, is your character from Pakistan? No. Wow, uh, Akinator is getting some odd questions in here. Does your character have a famous father? Can you hang on really Yes, quick? I'm holding. Akinator, can you please wait? Um, oh, man. I'm going to say no. Okay. I can also do uh, don't know probably or probably not. Don't know. Don't know. 
This is, a, this is grade A radio this right is, here, man. I'm does insane. your character often appear without a shirt? No. Damn. Does your character originally... Is your character originally from a TV show? Yes. Ooh, here we go. Is your character blonde? No. Damn it. Is your character black? No. Does your character live in America? Yes. Oh, here we go. Getting closer. Is your character older than 20? Yes. Is your character more than 40? No, we are not. I don't think so, yeah, no. Does your character play the role of a student? Well, like right now? I don't know. I'm not Akinator. I'm just a Well, mouth. I mean, like right now? Or? I'm just going to put don't know. Okay. Does your character rub shoulders with vampires? No. I don't know, man. <laughs> Stop asking these stupid... Is your character a redhead? No. Gross. Does your character mostly play in comedies? No. Is your character from a Netflix original? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. No follower like that. Has it's... your character ever been pregnant? In real life? Yes! Like real life? Yes! Um, I think. <laughs> hold on. Um, they asked if it was real. so And I said yes. Yes. God, Does your you a character that. play the role of a doctor? She has. Okay, yes. Um, is it Olivia Wilde? Yes! It's <laughs> Olivia Wilde! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You've done it again! <laughs> See, that's what I didn't know. Like, did she play a student? But she did play a student on House. No, she wasn't a student. She was only a doctor? She didn't, she, like... No, she, they weren't med students. They were full gotcha. doctors already. Yeah, yeah, so I'm glad we said no on that. Anyway, so that's what I'm saying with Olivia Wilde. It took a long way to get to that person that we were talking about, Miss Olivia Wilde. But she's... I don't know what it is. I think she's beautiful, but she's... Something about her head. Really, it... Um, her. I describe her as... It looks like she was made by somebody who's only described what a pretty person was. <laughs> no, she's no, she is so gorgeous. Like they got all the pretty parts, <laughs> but they're just kind of made different. Dude, I, mean, kinda... I, I, I get what you're saying, but no, she's she's. I think she's beautiful, but I don't know what it is about. Like here, this is what she's trying to do, and we need to calm down on this. And guys say, screaming, yeah, free the nipple. Listen, we have to. Ain't nobody saying to keep the nipple in jail. I am. Why? Because what's going to happen if you got Olivia Wilde and then and then all these all these women are coming and they're saying, "Yeah, free the nipple." Then we're going to be men are going to be like, "Great, yeah, free the nipple because that's fine." And then it's going to become normalized and then my wife's breasts are just going to be boobs. I'm not even going to care. I like caring about boobs you right now. You definitely still care. I don't know. There is everything I'm after in our so DNA. After so many years uh -uh. down the road, I'm telling you Everything in our DNA. I'm Every you. uh, thing. They're trying to normalize it. I don't want it normalized. <laughs> it will still be there. I promise. You will still care about your wife's. Um, Not if they're breasts. just. I mean, just everywhere you go, there's boobs. You just go to the dental hygienist, just boobs there. <laughs> Boob. I mean, you're going ah, to get boobs. coffee, Starbucks, just boobs. Boobs. Do you know? Did you make? You see what I'm saying, right? I get what you're saying. I just don't agree with you. Or maybe they'll still wear shirts. Well, explain to me what free the nipple is. Women still well, wear they, shirts. Yeah, um, they want to be able to take their shirt off. Like not all, like just men not, can. Just not, just not in stores or at places. Yeah, like, well, yeah. Because I was be, confused. I'm glad we were. It'll we got still to the bottom be of this. no shirt, no shoes, no service. Gotcha. But like when you go to the park, I was see, just, I was just thinking they were going to be everywhere. Yeah, you just got. <laughs> it's just, Oh God! Just there's nips everywhere. Why are there so many nips? She just did a Olivia Wilde did a, just a shoot for Vogue, and she said if we we're allowed opportunities to celebrate her body, it has an effect on how we treat one another and how we treat ourselves. I wish that in this country we weren't so terrified of women's bodies. I'm not. No, I'm not at all. I'm just well, I am to a certain like I'm. They're beautiful, so I'm like scared. I don't want to talk to them. Weird, man. Isn't that weird how we cover up certain parts of our body and since we've covered them up, they become so taboo? Isn't it weird? I mean, 
It just like I, I don't know. It seems like I I've get, been saying this for the ten years, almost ten years that you and I have been working together. I think everybody should be naked. I think when you meet somebody, you like should you just show thing right you away. Should do is show them your genitals. So that's what you shake instead of shaking hands. Yes, it's just no. You, you shake still privates. shake hands, but you, instead you of shake making eye together. contact, yeah. Instead of making eye contact, you touch privates, and then you just go okay. Dude, you want to know what it looks like? You know what you Everybody. sound like right now. You just you sound like that's exactly what like the oath of perverts take. <laughs> like if you're you're group you're the one who said it all. <laughs> all I said is I think we should all look at each other's genitals, and you're like touch them. Oh yeah, do we shake them together? I, all I was gonna say is not nah, you. Ray, everything's raise the same. Your, raise your right hand. Your other hands on your your private. Yeah, and you take that oath. <laughs> Uh, you're trying to normalize being a pervert. Everybody We're trying to normalize somebody being... who's cut and uncut, and we will. <laughs> it's free the nipple, man. You turned it into a weird thing that you want to start at, like, I, a coffee shop. I've said, I just think the world would be, we'd have a lot less stress, and people would be a lot less, like, freaked out. Ashamed. If you just, if we all just left, led with, like, our best private forward. Like, instead of best foot, it's like, here's my wiener. Now let me pull my pants back up. How would you like to go about this interview? <laughs> <laughs> Get Does it this right match out of the, the company? Way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of that, I'm Be hungry. Because then you could find out, like, your male coworkers that are just like a uh, forearm. See, now that's, that's where now we're back. This is what Olivia Wilde doesn't want. Why? She doesn't want the judgment I don't of the want to body. Judge well, yeah, I don't, you I don't do. Want to I'm only going to judge judgment. the gifted. Well, that's what I mean. It's still a judgment. Yeah, a judgment but... is a judgment. People don't want. They want their bodies like... just to be bodies. They don't that's want you impossible. to walk by him and go, "Wow, I just tripped over that." It's... <laughs> and then you start Whoa. feeling. Then you feel inferior of yeah. all the other guys. Then it's not even like I bet you he makes more than me. It's just that's what you feel like. Yeah, you know what I mean. But at least you would know. Yeah, I guess. it wouldn't be like I bet he is better off than I am, you'd be like, that guy definitely is. And, like, now you can be like, okay, uh, you bring your wife to the Christmas party, and then, you know, Bear comes up and is just like, not him. You don't even look at him. Bear. Oh, I guarantee it. Oh! He's a basketball player. You should ask his... Uh, his wife? His, or, mm. or BJ. <laughs> That's what I was saying, BJ. Um, I don't know if I want to take this call. It's 3430. I know. I want a producer. I'll give you five dollars if it's not. Okay. But I use this. Hey, good morning, guys. Me five bucks. No, I never took the bet. You just said that you were gonna give me the money. Hey, how hung are you? Thirty four thirty. Yeah, what are we working with? Well, we're working with we're talking about body parts. And when I was in Mexico a couple of years ago, um there was a nude beach not too down, far down from uh, our resort. It's I said, well, let's go take a stroll down there. I, I took a stroll, stroll down, and I came back, and the wife goes, what would you think? It's like, I'm way inadequate to be on a new beach. I go, it's <laughs> yeah, just really. Yeah, yeah you, get, you either got to have the most confidence in the world to do that and just not care, yeah. or you got to be the guy that has it. Yeah, yeah. you got to be the... You got to have that, the biggest in the locker room kind of right, attitude. Right, 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 right. We all know that guy because yeah, we've all seen yeah, him. Yeah, I get that. Um, also, I, would, I would have to hang at rock for mine for quite a while before <laughs> I got <laughs> Also, that was so good. Um, you went to a nude beach without your, like, you just looked at your wife and you're like, I know it's a scuba diving here, but I'm going to take a stroll over to the nude beach. Well, it you just walk through it. You know, you walk through this part of the... Uh, do, wait, did you get naked? No. Well, wait, wait, don't, they, don't they frown upon that? Yeah, because now you're just a looky-loo. Uh, <laughs> you are a pervert. Out of all the nude people, you were the weirdest one. Well, I didn't With want to be the rock hanging from your dangle. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for string in a rock. <laughs> all right, we got to go. Jake and Tanner, <laughs> good morning.
Everything was no. <laughs> hey, Planet Fitness, I was just there this morning. Uh, you I mean, was? I was, man. What hey, were you doing? Just looking. <laughs> <laughs> looking at that dude. Hanging a rock. <laughs> Hanging a rock. Uh, no, Planet Fitness, that environment is huge. Judgment-free zone. And it's a family where employees are there to encourage and to get to know ya. Um, you know how much that costs to get there? Or not get there, but get in it? Um, if I... If, if I'm not mistaken, it's only $10 a month. Dude, $10. It's and almost then, like you're losing money if you don't go. And and I heard this, too, and it feels like it's a, a false accusation. But is there no commitment? No commitment. Meaning that there's, there's no, no contract. contract. They're month to month. Yes. $10 month to month. You're like, I don't want it anymore. Than five. But you you just always keep it. Because it, it's, it, like, it's like you're yeah. going to go back. It, it's not hurting you at all. It's like they're confused because usually you'd be like, yeah, it's going to cost more if you don't want to sign a contract. Right. But, but Planet Fitness is like, no, it'll We're gonna do the cost exact opposite. L- less if you don't have a contract. I don't know. They very, don't even have an option for a contract. clean facilities. Super clean. Train, trainers are also to work with individuals with all kinds of, I mean. Like limitations, disabilities. Yes. And uh, work they, on low impact plan to customize workouts for yeah. the individual. Great, great people. They also have a, a an app where you can sign up for classes where you can do it with a group. You can sign up for a one-on-one orientation. They also have a people meter. So if you're like, I don't like people, I'm a Jake. And I don't want to see, you don't like people. I like people. No, you don't. I don't. You look at your your Planet Fitness app and you're like, there's only one other person in there. That's one too many. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait in the parking lot till I watch him walk out. Then Jake goes in. All right, PlanetFitness.com. Who be this? Oh, you know what's funny? What? They can't hear. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, they're only hearing us say on the docks when we <laughs> scream. They can't. They're just talking about the live video. Live in the studio, you can watch us if you text link to 71090, but you can't hear the rejoin music. Yeah. Because we get sued. Hi, who's this? Hey, it's 3430 again. I wanted to finish my story. Come no. Up. Oh, God. We're way past we're, that. Yeah, we're past that story. You went to a nude beach. You walked. That was the end of it. Mm-hmm. What now more I'm, could happen? I got to block it. <laughs> I got to block the phone lines because of you, right. 3430. Blame everybody. Blame 3430 if you want to try to win games and money. 
Hi, it's the Jake and Tanner Show. 866-916-0959, Corks and Caps, text line 71090. I just found this story, and I think it's super interesting. You know James Gunn? I do. He's a film writer, director. He's uh, most known for, probably, I would say most known recently for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the new um, Suicide Squad film. He wanted that guy, yes. Um, he wants to make a Gilligan's Island movie, but with the the twist and the version of his would be the castaways get desperate and hungry and start killing and eating each other. That's brilliant. I would watch that. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? And the, uh, so the idea originally came from somebody else who wrote an adaptation of being John Malkovich, and he took it to Warner Brothers in the 90s, but the creator of Gilligan's Island said, absolutely no way. Well, that guy Nerd. died recently. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so James Gunn... T- He's seizing opportunities! <laughs> so James Gunn t- <laughs> takes the, the, the screenplay and goes, I want to do this. Goes to whatever, Miramax yeah. or whatever it is. And they go, okay, cool. Yeah, that dude died. Um, <laughs> His family is grieving. And now the headline is... Is now that this dead weight is gone, James Gunn can make Dark Gilligan's Island. Yeah, well, and then but the estate said no. Uh, good. And then but Gunn is like, dude, I'm gonna try changing their mind because he really wants to do that. That yeah. sounds kind of fun, right? I don't know. By the way, my wife eventually, I mean, basically just found Joe Rogan, and she's like, oh, he's pretty good. I'm like, yeah, he is yeah, really good. I, I really he's hope it dude. turns out for him. This is funny. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, that guy. Well, I'm going back and forth. I know I switched really quick, but I just got a text from Angie saying, hey, did you have you heard this podcast with Joe Rogan? It's like, I haven't. Um, he talked about not having a co-host, and he doesn't, because people are like, why don't you have a co-host? And he's like, just because he said that it changed. It's like you got to create a dance with a co-host. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like choreographed and it's like a dance and and mm-hmm. sometimes you have an idea of what you want to say but then the co-host will say something and then it kind of throws it all off of your point you were trying to make. Yep. Could you see Rogan? I couldn't see him having two people on there. I thought he did. Oh, he did. <laughs> He did. I thought that Jamie guy, he always brings into conversation the guy who uh, they kind of like the, the producer the or whatever. Producer. Um but I guess not. No, I, I. It's better just let Joe be Joe. Dude, that guy started out with only like two hundred subscribers on his YouTube. Yeah, and then well, he's been doing it for like ten years. You forget about that. But mm-hmm. my God, did that guy make some money, dude? His um, his his podcasts. I've heard other people who've been on it say they're just hard to do. Because Joe wrote, he, they, he's like, they go for five hours. Yeah, you he, probably just sit there and, yeah, and then they just like, take like the two, or wait, or did, no, wait, no, no, so no. they're editing some of that down? Uh, uh, no, there will be ones that are like four hours, three and a half hours, or two hours. They go as long as Joe Rogan wants them to go. That's what they're saying is, you know how hard that is to try to plan a day around a Joe Rogan podcast? I really do like what he said about being in, um in a studio with producers and in, in suits. Mm-hmm. And they said, because he's been in there having interviews with people, not his show, but other shows. Yeah. And then there'll be a suit going, Hey, get to the next thing, get to the next thing. You're in the, and then he goes, oh. well, how do you know? How do you know? Why should I get to the next thing? We're just two people having a conversation mm-hmm. and if people don't want to be here. They don't have to be here or they can eavesdrops into this conversation. But how do you know, sitting behind that glass, to tell us when to switch like we, when it's getting boring. You're bored. This one person might have lost interest. He, by the way, I. it's so hard. He has changed so many things about everything. Everything where it's so hard. You can, you can kind of argue with any of the suits now when they say it doesn't work. But yeah. it does work yeah, on does these work. rules that he's breaking. Yeah, I think most people would agree that it does work. Podcast oh. is getting up, FYI. We were filming yesterday. It so, is up. Oh, it is up right now? Yep. All right. So, so what you, are you talking about? Yeah, well, I don't know. What do you text to get that podcast? I forget. Uh, JT. All right. Show. JT. Anyway. Show. JTX. Whatever. Text it to 71090. Figure it out. <laughs> cool. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> yeah, we got to be careful on who we say that to. Sometimes people can change your life for the better, and we're like, I don't know, just figure out our stuff for us. You do. We're busy. Um, sure. All right, so this is what happened yesterday with a take from Jake and Tanner. How much are we going to play for today when we play mm. in the 8 o'clock hour? We're going to find out right now. All right, what are we going to play for? Come on. 
It's 200 200 Yeah. Oh, look at that. $200 we're going to be playing for when we play today in the 8 o'clock hour. Hey, good news for pumpkin lovers what at Duncan. Tell me. Well, I will. This fall, there's a whole new spin on pumpkin. Why aren't you at telling Duncan. me? No, I am. There's a new brand new ways to enjoy the flavor of the season. What is the flavor? At Duncan. Where? Duncan. Oh, my headphones aren't on. Yeah, you got to put them on. Oh, then. Yeah. Try Sorry. a new pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh, that sounds delicious. Smooth, bold, cold brew topped with velvety pumpkin cream, cold foam made with cinnamon and nutmeg spices. What if it's cold? I want something hot. Yeah, delicious fall classic. The pumpkin spice signature latte, rich espresso topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. Well, that sounds delicious. Is there some sort of deal yeah, that I can get? Heck yeah, and all you got to do is become a Perk member. A uh, DD Perk? That's it. Get the app, download it. It is free. Become a DD Perk member. $3 you get these things for. Three bucks? Plus That's a it? Ton more things that they have there. They want to get you deals. They want to get you free things. They want to get you this for the pumpkin lovers out there. And we're talking about Duncan. America runs on Duncan. All right, more Jake and Tanner show on the way next.
taco, 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 yeah. Well, good morning there. It's Jake and Tanner show. It's Kiss FM. Somebody said that their coworker said JTX tickets are hard to find. Now, I... I they're there available. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. But also, if you're just going to 959kissfm.com, yeah. That's I, it's like you got to go to the slideshow there where there's like a slider that's running. <clears throat> oh my god, get out. There's like a slider that's running through a few different things that are happening at the station and one of those are the JTX and you can click on that and it'll take you where you got to go or we made it super simple. Just text JTX to 71090. Dude, just those three letters, no spaces, JTX. It will bring you right to the ticket page. We had somebody yesterday, Zach and Mandy were helping us. <laughs> Zach and Mandy were helping us do some filming for JTX yesterday. And yep. two times, Mandy excused herself from the, the, the video room and said, I'm going to go do this because I cannot be, I, I can't have a, watch this. Because she said, I can't do this. I have a weak stomach. So, just and by the way, on the way home after doing that, Tanner and I had a major conversation about one, one of, of the them. pieces. And um, just, it, this year is so fun. This year is going to be so much fun. We got a dating game on Friday. We got a dating game on Saturday. Yep. Two different shows, by the way, October twenty second and twenty third. Well, it's the same show, two different two different nights, but different games and people, yes. audience participation, and 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 things like that. Yeah, we got uh, Ash is showing up Friday. We're trying to win the hearts of three. Uh, well, one guy out of the three, and then yeah, or Bronson. maybe all three. Who yeah, knows? Who don't know? I don't know Ashley's life. Yeah. I can't judge. And you know what? It's 2021. Good for you, Ash. If that's what you want to do, you can. Yeah, go for you it. You can pull all three. Good job. Good for you. Um, Bronson. God, what is that? Yeah, yeah, Get out! Yeah, demons! Yeah, demons! Yeah, the power of Christ yeah, compels you! Yeah, the power of Christ compels you! You okay, babe? Uh, where am I? You're in Appleton. What's the last thing you remember? Um, The video shoot. From what video shoot? Yesterday. What day do you think yesterday was? 1998. It's 2021. Ah! <laughs> Did I pass my exams? <laughs> oh my god, I'm a veterinarian, right? Why is this microphone in front of me? Am I still an actor? <laughs> Am I still an actor? I'm Where's my other coat? Where are my thumb rings? Why are they all gone? Where is my bracelet watch? Who's fed my Tamagotchi? By the he way, hasn't been fed in years. <laughs> I want, I want bracelet watches to come back. I think those are bad ass. What do you mean a bracelet watch? You you know the they're basically like well, thick all watches leather. are bracelets. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about like the thick leather cuffs oh, that are oh, that are cuff a wa watch. Cuff watch. Leather wa leather you band right at the buckle. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I'm down. You don't. Do, you do. Would do, you take if they came back? Would you? Yeah, yeah. Right. Do you remember all of the wa the watches that had like 15 bands? Yeah. No. Maybe. Oh yes. Uh, do you remember also the watches that had just one band, but it was super long and you wrapped it around your forearm? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you had to wrap it around like six times. Yeah. Man, oh. the early 2000s and late 90s were some pretty d dumb fashion choices. I don't know, man. I uh, <laughs> the, the, the giant band for a, a, a watch that, that was dumb. That um, yeah, that was dumb. Oh, I could get these. We've had those on for a while, blocking the phone lines because of thirty four thirty. But um, no, that uh, the early two thousands for me. I I should bring these in one day. I have like five. Do you remember meeting me? And I think I was just at the transition of starting to stop wearing my rings. I was starting to stop wearing them. Yeah. That's you, how that sentence yes. works. Yeah, I remember your I had rings. Two thumb ring. I had a bunch of rings yep. and I had a bracelet over here. And I the leather cuff watch was a little too much at that time. See, but I would have taken away all the rings and kept the watch. I can give you one. You, the watch? I got a couple of them. I'll take one. Um do you know what surprises me? What? You remember the person last week who we met with? And I was like, are you wearing a pinky ring? <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. And then, it, but do you know what the most surprising part about it was? <laughs> Is that he almost felt offended that I pointed it out because I think he truly loves it. Like he's oh, not wearing thought, it ironically. I thought he was kind of. I thought he was a little offended too when you said it. Yeah, because. Um, but I don't think you were saying it to try I, to be offensive. I wasn't. I just. I haven't seen anybody wear a pinky ring. That's not saying things like you're going to be sleeping with the fishes, right? Like yeah. in an like old very movie. good fellas. Yeah, Joe Pesci. <laughs> I look like some sort of a clown to you. That's that's my Joe Pesci impression. It's really good. Wait, am I funny? <laughs> Do you think I'm funny? Shut up. <laughs> I think it's good. Um, I want girls. Seen, I've never seen that movie, so I have no reference. So That's that is exactly. the best Joe Pesci I've ever heard. <laughs> he, just, he throws in F words every once in a while. I want girls to bring the Avril Lavigne look back. First of all, are you a girl or are you a guy? Because if you're a guy saying that, you're just a weird perv. Yes. But also, I agree. Dude, I remember like the my skater wife. boy look? I love that. My wife would... Do you remember? I think she wore these vests with t shirts. Oh, dude. I remember tiny vests. Early two, it was early 2000s. The best way I can explain this is Dane Cook. Like, if you go watch his stand up, he, he, he wore the, 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 the flare jeans. Yep. He was wearing the flare jeans and, the, and like the boots yep, and yep, yep, yep. leather cuff and the tight. And he had my. I am. I am 2000s. Yeah, but like I said before, there's nothing wrong with that. There isn't, and it's coming back. We're already hitting the 90s. I can't wait for low rider jeans and thongs that are made for low rider jeans. Mm. Or, or mm. do you remember when when ladies would put their thongs up on their hips? They'd pull the yeah, straps yeah, yeah. up on the hips. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna Google it? You're not quite sure what that looks like. You're right. Me oh, neither. Wait, wait. <laughs> Dude, and it was like um, the, I think they wore thick white belts. Right? Yep, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I in the early two thousands, I was um, I was pretty goth emo. Okay. Um. So like, me, I re- I remember, like the belts with the studs. Remember that? Yes. Um, oh my God! Yeah, you get it at uh hot topic. Hot topic. Um. Also, the belt, the the white and black checkerboard belt that had the seat yeah. belt. The seatbelt oh, plug in it. That? Hell yeah, I did. Um, oh, my cool, freshman man. year, I I painted my nails black. Yeah, uh, and then a bunch of seniors made fun of me, and I sat in the back of the um, art room scratching the nail polish off my fingers. This is so crazy, man. Because this uh, weird styles, but they're coming back. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, and it's you know it's going to be really unfortunate when when the kids are like. Oh my god. Like they're gonna be dressed up like Avril Levine, like the tie with the like this. And they're gonna be like, Oh my god, how vintage. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I think I'm gonna lose my mind. Dude, I remember going to the buckle and have they there were so many buckles that At you could buckle? choose from. You could have the bottle opener, you could have one that said Lucky You, you I, could have a John Deere green. They had so many to choose from. I had a Lucky You one. Yeah. I had it was big circle, I had a four leaf clover, and people would be like, Are you Irish? And I'd be like, Not even one percent. Yeah. Um, I had one I used to get all mine at Spencer's. Spencer's had them too, um, yeah. And uh, I had one that had a little slot in it, and it would say five cents to, ki- to like kissing booth or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you're taking me back. I, I had I a would... I had a friend of mine who got just insane belt buckles, like the big ones. Like they would be like sure, this big, like way too big. And I would be like, "How do you even sit down?" He's like, "It hurts both my stomach and my penis." <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, it's tricky, and it's not comfortable either yeah. way. Um, I went in there. Because when flare jeans were leaving, I got so sad because that was like my style, right? And I was trying mm-hmm. to hang on to that. And uh, I went back to the buckle and I asked them about Jackson jeans and they all laughed at me. Oh. They actually said, we've never heard of it. And they were like, let me get the old yeah. guy that works here. And by old guy, he was like probably in his <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and he goes, oh, yeah, Jackson. Oh, we're talking a long time ago. Like, Whoa, why is yeah. it so offensive yeah, here? right. These all feel like hate crimes. You wait, man. You wait, baby. Before Jesus come back. Come back with a vengeance. I can't, I, 
they, I hope they do for you. I really do. I don't do. even want them anymore. Yes, Not you even do. my style. Be, no, BS. You do want them. No, I don't. I got my five. I, I'm at the stage now where I don't want to go to the buckle. I just want my wife to go to Kohl's and buy me jeans. 32, well, if they, 32s. If they come back, though. Will they be at Kohl's? Yeah. Is Mark Anthony going to wear them? Because if Mark Anthony doesn't wear them, they ain't going to be at Kohl's. That's true. Right. That is true. Well, no. Yeah. You know, you right. might not know this, but Mark Anthony started Kohl's before he was a singer. Really? Uh-huh. See, now I had heard that Mark Anthony was, uh, rubbed his, like, in the beginning, mm-hmm. he he got tired and he napped somewhere and some of his skin sloughed off and that grew into the first Kohl's. That could be, too. I don't I've know heard if both that's say, true. Yeah, no, it could be, yeah. Um, but I just know that Mark How Anthony... How did that guy get, get Jennifer Lopez? I don't know. I don't know. Can he sing? Is, he is that what it is? Is he the best lover on the planet? He has to be. I think I think he actually was born with only one leg. But he still oh, can yeah, wear that's probably, pants yeah. with two. Let me get that. Like, that has to be it. Otherwise, <laughs> what is the... He looks like a... Oh my God! Why haven't we ever made this uh, uh, connection before? Mark Anthony is just Latin Steve Buscemi. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> There's never been a truer statement than right there. They they are basically identical. When we were talking about JTX, that's how this all began. Really? Yeah. Text <laughs> JTX to seven ten ninety and get some tickets, um, or go to ninety five nine kissfm dot com and good luck. It's somewhere up there. It's in like the slider or something. But come to the show. It's uh, not this weekend, next weekend, 22nd mm-hmm. or 23rd. You're going to have a blast. I was reading a story about, you know, Walker Hayes is? Yes. This guy. That's Walker Hayes? Yeah. By the way, if you're listening to us on um, uh, in the studio live on our cameras, hey. we're playing Walker Hayes fancy yeah. like, right? Hey, I'm fancy like Applebee's yeah, on yeah, a yeah. day night. Fun. He's got fun music, right? I love this song. Yeah, here, this here's another one. Who if doesn't? You, right. I mean, these are. I'm just gonna play a couple of these. He's a li- he. He's supposed to be country, but he plays. He, he, bo- he walks the line of doing a little bit. His his songs are really really. This, Fun you country. Know, you know what that song just sounded like? What? If Gavin DeGraw got into country. Sure. Right? Okay, this is this guy. And they, they because he's gotten some really big um, notoriety now. Like, a yeah. lot of people know who Walker Hayes is from that Applebee's song. Yeah. And he's been around for quite a while, but he's just now getting popular, and people are like, I can't believe that you live here in this house. And he's like, dude, I ain't Luke Bryan right now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? You, you live in that house? And be like, I have one <laughs> song, and it's about going to Applebee's. <laughs> right, right. Right. And, um, and... Man, I... I didn't know he was as young. Like he's only forty one. Yeah, and everybody on TikTok was like, "Look at this old man." Oh well, yeah, I mean, on TikTok, are you kidding? How does he even get up stairs? True does though. he have one of those stair things? Dude, forty one is not massively old. Dude, six six kids. He has six kids. Dude, and I found out. I didn't realize Ooh. that this song. Really quick, you've ne- nobody's probably ever heard this, but me. It's. It, Okay. Okay, saying that, hey, I know it's difficult. You see me on the road and all the success ha- happening. Are you hearing me? Yep. And he says, you broke up with me. I didn't realize, and nobody's going to care about this, but I want to talk mm-hmm. about it, that he's talking about Nashville. Because in 2000, like, whatever, yeah. when he was early into his career, mm-hmm. he was kind of he was going places for a second, and yep. then he had a couple singles that didn't chart very well. Okay. They ripped up his contract and said, we don't want you. Mm-hmm. And now he's got Applebee's and all that, that these yeah. fancy-like songs and all this, and he's starting to become successful. And Nashville's calling him back going, hey, can you you should sign with us over mm-hmm. here. So what the, that's what that song's about. And it's sad, too, because he said he remembers when they first signed him. He, yep. had, his, he had his fourth kid at this time. Um, he said he got showered with gifts. Everybody was coming to see him, record labels and all of that, people, execs, and he was like, dude, this is so cool, and balloons and flowers and mm-hmm. stuffed animals. 
they, within that, whatever, he had another kid right after that. Yeah. And he didn't have, that's when the record label broke up with him. Nobody showed up for the fifth kid. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, and he had to go, check this out, check this out. That's he had, so sad. And he had, this was his number five kid. He wasn't making money. He had to go to Costco, and he took a, an overnight gig from like four in the morning to 10, and he said, there is nothing more humbling than having people know who you are and and know your songs, mm -hmm. and then you go there, and they go, wait a minute, aren't you Walker Hayes? And they're like, yeah, do you have any opening for a night shift? He goes, that's such a humbling experience. Oh, that would be the worst. Right? I've had, I mean, in a, in a way, I had that happen with me and Best Buy. I lost my gig doing the morning yeah. show, and I went in there, and the guy, the one guy is like, oh, my God, I think I used to listen to you. Why are you working with us? And I go, well, I got to pay bills. I'm researching a role. <laughs> yeah, I should have said that, man. I'm researching a role, and um, it's a big thing. It's It's been greenlit, but it just keep it on the DL. <laughs> it's just crazy, though. I mean, how it's funny when you're I, – I, I relate to this because I'm in the, somewhat of that – in mm. not music industry, but we're still on that ladder of entertainment. And, and when you're kind of at your low – points you do find this business there's not a lot of friends and then when you're at your high points boy does everybody love you everybody, everybody wants a piece of it and everybody wants you to sign a piece of paper and telling you how much money you're gonna make and yep. you need to move here and everybody patting your back but man right when you kind of hit a lull when it kind of dips down a little yep. bit nobody wants to even associate with you <laughs> so sad <laughs> it was really sad Oh, it's Definitely really sad. I was picking up the phone. Yeah. I can't make money off of you. Well, I don't want you. Yeah, I, I need you. you. Anyway, that's how Walker Hayes. I hope good things for him because he needs it. He's got six children. He does, yeah. It is. I just read an article. Something terrible happened to him. It was, that, was that his seven, seventh child? One of his, one of his children um, oh, really? died. Yeah. Oh, boy. I did not... Are you sure it was I, him? Or are you taught? Nope. Uh, Walker Hayes. Let me see. Uh, ba -ba -doo -ba -doo. Um, what happened to Walker Hayes' baby? Walker Hayes and his wife, Lainey, went through an experience that no parent would ever want to live through, losing a baby. The couple lost their daughter, who was named uh, Oakley, at childbirth. Oh, wow. I did not know that. So that is very sad. Now what? <laughs> I really brought that down. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to know. I had questions. It's all right. Um, hey, we got we got a uh, flannel night at Appleton Axe. Ooh, we got a couple tickets, two rounds of axe throwing, plus some Bud Light seltzer fall flannel. That sounds good. We should give that away. I would love to. I got a way to do this, but it's it's. I want the youth. We need like early twenties <laughs> to to call in, okay? Okay. And we'll do this. You don't get to call in right now because we're gonna play some commercials and possibly a song. But no, we want to give this to early twenties for this game to really work. It is the Jake and Tanner show. Good morning.
Hi, good morning. It's the Jake and Tanner Show. Text JTX to 71090. Get your tickets. Two weeks out. Bring a friend. Or bring, bring your two son. friends. Bring two friends. It's cool, too. Somebody want to know what the difference is between VIP and regular? I don't even think you can get VIP any longer, but... Uh, just the, how close you are to the stage. And usually when we play games, we're going to pick from closer up because it's just it keeps the momentum of the show going. Yeah, and we're not going to... Because I have anxiety like this. Know that we're not the type of show that's just going to pull you up on stage. Yeah. I mean, if you want to come play, you you, you we can. We will take volunteers. Volunteer, yeah. Because I know that would be my anxiety. I mean, like, mm-hmm. God, I don't want to go because I don't want to be on there. Anyway, yeah, so text JTX or go to 959kissfm.com. I got a couple sounds here. Okay. That I had no idea were trademarked. Copyrighted. So you can copyright a sound? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't know that. So if we play these like we do, we could probably get sued. Yeah, but we're not using them for to make money. This is educational purposes. Yes. You ready? Yes. Tell me what this one is. Hunger Games. I volunteer! Boy, I volunteer! Do you remember that? Oh, we used to do that constantly. What were we doing that? Oh, the pick the purse? Yeah, pick a purse. I volunteer as tribute. Because we'd go, okay, Tanner, what is the name? And you would draw the name and you'd go, Primrose Everdeen. I go, I volunteer. I volunteer. That's <laughs> when we were good. Primrose Everdeen. I volunteer. I volunteer. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Wrong thing. Every time. Every day. Who remembers that? Can I get an amen? Amen. Text line 7109. I barely remember it. How about this one? This one's trademarked also. Uh, Law and Order SVU. And I get why that one's trademarked. Boom, boom. Yeah. There's yeah. some of these, though, that I'm like, whoa. What? Yeah. Oh, Simpsons, Homer, Homer's Doe. Did the Darth Vader breathing. Dude, that's trademarked. That's, that makes can't... sense, because uh, even if you don't, you don't really watch the Star Wars movies, Right, right. But you heard that, and you knew exactly what it was. Yeah, but what if I uh, what if I have sleep apnea and we did a commercial, and I'm like, <sighs> he's not. Yeah, but it's not that sound. That's a different. That's a whole different thing. I feel like you there's some sound, wiggle room there. The, you don't sound. My father in law has sleep apnea. He has a CPAP or whatever <laughs> machine, and he doesn't sound like Darth Vader. I wish Darth Vader would do that. He took off his mask and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Cause, dude, that's the, like, did I ever tell his you? His mouth was like a sucker fish. He just, <laughs> dude, I, 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 <laughs> he sounds like goofy. From there was a guy that mouth. I used to work with that would fall asleep constantly during meetings. And he was taking a snooze and he woke up in a meeting and doing that going. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> freaked out. And he's like, yeah. sorry, sleep apnea. If you ever. <laughs> if you've ever seen. Like been by somebody with sleep apnea, and you and you, it's the first time we all remember the first time we hear somebody with sleep apnea because yep. it's terrifying. <laughs> it is. Mine is. Yeah, your throat just closes. You stop breathing. That's what happens. Sleep apnea is you stop breathing. It's wild. And then you get woken up because you take a giant breath like you just came out of a, a pool after being underwater for two minutes. I've had so my father in law on the couch. Re- is- Sometimes it happens. It hasn't happened in a really long time, but it depends on the position. If I'm fall asleep in like the van or the truck, and I'm well, just you're trying, to, trying to <laughs> lean, yeah. Thank God for sleep apnea. Yeah, saved uh, saved me from trees many times. But no, it'll. There's certain ways you can lay that will just close up my throat. Mm-hmm. You, I got a tiny little throat. You can't fit anything. You've tried. I know. Yeah, you can't God. fit anything back there. Mm-mm. No gag, re- it sucks because you have no gag reflex, but right. such a narrow throat. Right. Do you want to try something right now? Yeah, here, I will take, um, here's a pen. Just use your finger. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, see, it's just so tight. Oh, it's just so tight back there. Yeah, it's just, oh, yeah. my God, my fingertips are turning purple. Yeah, I mean, that's so tight. It's, oh, it's got, like, a, like a little sucker there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, how about this sound? Lightsabers. Yeah, I get that one. Yep. 
You get that one, but not the Darth, well, Darth Vader, Vader one. I'm, I feel like I got a loophole. If I was, if I had a sleep apnea mask and I was running a commercial, I do. I don't want to hear them come after me. You just don't sound like that, and you only wear it when you're sleeping. I'm the one that deals with sleep apnea. Okay. Do you know how that lightsaber was created? Did we talk about that a long time ago? Uh, no. He had I'm, a microphone years ago, and he, they, they were trying to figure out the, the sound sounds, of it. And he walked past some speakers, and it gave that feedback when he would do this around the speakers. Oh. And then he just recorded it oh, and cool. tweaked it a little bit, and then they got this, that sound. It's really cool, man. It is. It's a really neat noise for fake swords in a stupid movie. They're called laser swords. That, that was the, going to be the original name. Really? For them. Yeah, it was, they were going to be called laser swords. That's what he originally called them, and they make mention of it in some of the newer movies. But, would you yeah. Would you pay money for one? Uh, when I go to Disney World, um, we're planning a trip to both Disney and Universal in okay. the next couple of years. I will be making my own lightsaber, yes. Because they have a um, a whole experience. Is it really expensive to do it? Two hundred bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Do, do you see the people on TikTok those that can really use those lightsabers, like spinning them around? Mm -hmm. Tell me you're going to do that because it's awesome. I have followed a few people that that um, pride themselves in being great lightsaber te teachers. My old girlfriend from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. I could let's see if we can contact her because she's one of those flag girls, and I bet you you could hire her to to okay. teach you how to spin. So, I just I've got like just a plethora of things wrong with that. Okay, one it's weird. I don't like talking to anybody from Michigan. Sure, <laughs> rude. <laughs> I always feel like they're trying to get my social security number every time okay. I talk to one of them. I just feel like they're steering the conversation to, hey. The, what's your social? Um, two, your old girlfriend would mean that you dated her when you were 15. And I was 15. I, I can almost guarantee she uh, is not a flag girl anymore. We, I don't know that because I haven't <laughs> talked to her since I've been 15. So She might still be riddled with acne, too. <laughs> Just riddled. And why you broke Just up with her? riddled. Dude, isn't that crazy that you would, uh, in in middle school and stuff, you'd have those like girlfriends and boyfriends and stuff like that, and, and you'd get broken up with or break up with somebody for the dumbest reasons? Like, oh, she had a pimple today, so I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am done. It's like, yeah, oh, Tanner accidentally farted in class. <laughs> like, I can't be seen with that. <laughs> like, I'm, get rid of him. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, flag girls, right? No, because uh, no, you can't dude, touch. Awesome... You can't touch the laser part. But they, they, she could grab onto any part of the pole you want. She still got acne though. That's what she, she could still be. Out. She could still be riddled with it. I don't know. She got on Accutane. Now she doesn't have eyelids. <laughs> her, her eyelids sweat. <laughs> So why is she looking at me like that? She took Accutane, so now she, she no longer is able to blink. She has to spritz her eyes. <laughs> Dude, she was, I met her at a church camp, okay, when I was 15, and that week I didn't brush my teeth. I've already told the story Wait, the entire week. Wait, is this the girl you never broke up with? Nope. No. Who is that girl? I... No, I broke up with this one. Okay, because I know that you said that you had dated a girl... It was over a summer break, and you and oh, you went Michelle. back to school, and yeah. you, never, <laughs> you never broke up with her. And my my white whale, other than getting you to talk to Jody on the air, yeah, and just get over all of that, so I can be a mediator, so we can get through all these problems, is for you to call this woman and break up with her. <laughs> I can't find her. We tried dragging her down. I want I want you to just call her and be like, "Hey, Michelle, it's Jake." I know you've probably been wondering where I've been. I'm married. But um, I just don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> and I, I, we need to break up. And I'm really sorry. Yeah, I think that one girl, that she was two years older than me at that church camp, the flag girl. Yeah. And I think she went, because you, you had to smell my breath from a mile away. Because mm -hmm. it was going on week, week oh, I remember one. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think she went with, well, I have acne and he has halitosis. I'm yeah. just going to, it'll be all right. Our kids are going to be screwed, but yeah. nobody else here will talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, man. Right. Oh, dude, hold on. That's Tarzan. But was that also the same week where you never pooped? Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you were a wreck. 
An <laughs> absolute wreck there. Yeah. You're like, I can't brush my teeth and I, got, I can't poop. <laughs> at the fourth day, at the fourth day, they were like trying to get me to play basketball. And I'm like, if I go out on court, <laughs> things are going to drop out of these shorts. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I go, can't jump. I can't do anything. I'm just holding, like my I was holding cheeks together, and I ain't no jumping. There ain't no nothing. They're like, we thought you would love basketball. I'm like, not today. My ankle. Yeah, I only do a uh, um, free throws. And why aren't you talking to us? Like, because I wouldn't look at anybody because of my in the other direction. <laughs> Guys, I can't play. <laughs> Serious, I'm man. telling you, Johnny. <laughs> That's no doubt. And I know those two kids that were a little oh. older had their own language, and they were talking bad about me. I know they were. But the last couple days there, I just went out in the woods and <laughs> just did, so nobody would ask me to play sports and sing church songs. Oh, I didn't want to sit around the what? bonfire to sing church songs. What? Plus, I didn't want to be around people because of my breath. Yeah. You could see it. You yeah, could and if see you were, it. And, you're, and you get into singing, too. I do. So, like, you're, yeah. you're like Whitney Houston. Like, you are arms out, um, and I mm -hmm. will always love you sure. when you get into singing. Yeah. So, you couldn't sing those church songs. Because you were... <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you couldn't do it. I get it. I get it, man. That was a weird week. I yeah, got, you were you were a strange well, adolescent. My Puberty mom, hit you like three semis, <laughs> like just like it, it was like yeah. boom anxiety, boom <laughs> acne, boom poop anxiety. Like all the things that are the worst case scenario for hitting puberty, they all hit you. Like your horrible anxiety all comes from puberty, and those church camps. Yeah, I blame Jesus. Well, I, okay, I like that. My uh, my mom pushed me into that church camp she's like you should go oh, what why the hell were they trying to get rid of me for that they week? probably just wanted a week of of um probably making love in your room now <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> we gotta update our antivirus oh dang it chuck remember <laughs> before when we got that Andrew, do you have that audio? Oh God, there's no way that I would know what it was called. But yeah, I'll look. Okay, we have we have Chuck. We blame Chuck for getting us a virus because this thing kept popping up and saying call this number. So we did call this number, and we this con man yeah. got really mad at us. Please tell me you can find that. Oh, okay. what? When was that? Two thousand four. Definitely not that. While you're looking for it, I'm going to play these, okay? More trademark. Okay. That, well, of course. That one's trademarked. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's going I guess maybe using it in movies or something. Yeah, the, from, the movie, the, You've Got Mail. Yeah, and that's it. Yep. How about this? Is that Mickey Mouse? Nope. Winnie the Pooh? Ooh, that's fun, because I'm going to... This gets us into the game in the next segment. Okay. Um, for young people, not I'm going to see if young people can name some sounds that are outdated anymore. But maybe they still do. This is the Pillsbury Doughboy, where he oh, touched the belly. Oh yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't heard about that in like a minute or two. Taco Bell, um, Sports Center, sixty minutes, dude. That's one. That one right here. A clock. That ticking sound is. Trademark. Trademark. So if it happens in my house, I have to pay. To I guess. 60 minutes. It's weird, right? I don't know how trademarks work. Let's try finding that. Let's play. Yeah, it. I'm gonna. I I got a few things that I want to pull in and start playing audio. All right, sports. sounds good. We're gonna let's play these commercials, and uh, we'll play a quick song, and then no, we got things to give away for a game. These outdated sounds, but you got to be younger because I want. I think it'd be fun if like two people in their twenties, early twenties, go back and forth and try and figure out what these sounds are. We'll do that, and maybe we can get this bit, that we, or not a bit, an actual call when we yeah. called, called a guy to try to fix our software or our computer. Yeah. Boy, did he want a lot of information. Yes, he did. We'll possibly do all of this next. It is the Jake and Tanner Show. Good morning.
Hey, we want to invite you and a guest to Flannel Night at Appleton Axe, October 28th, 7 to 9. It's invitation only. Yes. Each guest going to receive two rounds of axe throwing plus uh, some Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel. We'll just continue on with the sound game. So, hey, if you are in your early 20s. So, like 21 to 25. You think you think that should be good? What we got here is outdated sounds. Yeah. Well, we can't do twenty because it's for beer. Oh, and that's right. So no, it's twenty-one that. to twenty-five. Twenty-one to twenty-five. Give us a call. We want to see if you can. God, I don't have any of my writing utensils. I know, and you you hide them from people. I do. Um. So anyway, yeah. Give us a call if you want to play. I want to see if you know any of these sounds. 866-916-0959. Yeah, by the way, JTX is happening in two weekends. Buy tickets by texting JTX to 71090. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Damien. Da- Damien, you just won. What I win? Didn't Damien just win? I don't know. Bye, Damien. Hi, who's this? This is Julia. Hi, Julia. Julia, how old are you? I am, I think, 23. What do you mean you think? 23. I mean, I, lose, I lost track. After I think, oh, yeah, 20, 23 is hard to get past. You know, you ran you know, out of toes three like, years ago. <laughs> Hi. Hold on, Julia. Hi, who's yeah, this? Hi, this is Quincy. Quincy, how old are you? 22. All right, Julia and Quincy. All right, so put the, you might want to get us off. If anybody has us on speaker, please take us off. Yeah, take us off speaker, turn off your radio. Okay, you're off. All right, cool. All right, Julia and Quincy. Some youngins here, the youths. We're going to play some outdated sounds. I want to see if you guys know what these are, okay? Play along in the text line, 71090. But if you play along in the text line, put your age, too, before you, because I want to know how old you are and if you know these. Are you guys ready? Ring in with your name when you think you know it. Okay. Got it. First one is AIM, like AOL. Julia, sorry. J- <laughs> Julia. I have a, I have a hard time believing that Julia is twenty three. Julia, um, you're not twenty three, are you? What year is your birthday? Quick. Or I'm in nineteen ninety eight. I can't do math that quick. What what month? April. I think that checks out. <laughs> Somebody said, I can't believe you didn't hang up on people. That's so rude. Shut up. Oh, Damien, we, think we, I'm old? Hang on, Julia. I, I got to get mad at this person. Yeah, Damien I, calls all the time. We talk to Damien all the time. Yeah. Damien's not mad. You're the only person that's offended right now. Go listen to Murph. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, if you want, just go get your own radio show and have nobody listen to you because you're the worst and your family hates talking to you and when they find out that you're going to family events people make up excuses to be busy you're the reason your kids are fat and sassy people have looked at dirty diapers and said this reminds me of 5101 by the way that we weren't talking about julia or quincy no Mm -hmm. you guys are good all right guys ready (laughs) okay (laughs) there we go next What do you guys think? <laughs> Why isn't this point? There it goes. Pussy. Crazy! Backman? Oh, no. No. Oh, he knew right away, Lo. He knew. He was like, oh, no, that was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Julia, do you have any idea? Somebody said, you do realize there's more than one Damien. We know the Damien's voice. He calls all the... What is with you people right now? Honestly, are we that offended that I hung up on Damien? Damien, call back so we can get you on the horn really quick just so people know that you're not in your car crying. Yeah. Can you call really quick so we can make these two people happy? This is that Damien just texted. Yeah. And he said, this is Damien. I forgive you guys. You guys seem humble and big. (laughs) Thank you, Damien. Hey, Damien. All right, let's get Damien on here. All right. Hey, is this Damien? Yeah, this is a dad. This is you. This is a different Damien. Oh, this is Damien's dad. No, my name is Damien Borman. All right, Damien Borman. Are you the one who called that we hung up? I, I on? think it is. 
Yeah. Were you tying the noose or were you doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all right. I was just, I was just wondering why I got hung up on. Jenna, I thought you were a different you, Damian. You're not helping us at all now. All right, Damien. I hope you lose. Here we go. Ready? You're playing. All right. <laughs> Julia. Julia. Mario. No, Julia. No. That's wrong, Julia. Come on, Damien. Jen you got this. Damien. 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 Oh, we were done. Yeah, we're done. Okay. We only give we yeah, only give three got, Ds. I have no clue what that sound is. That That's is Space Invaders. Space Sorry. Invaders. You could you could have got it right Come at the on. end with That's a mothership. It's going across. By the way, uh, D Dog, what is? How old are you? I'm 21. All right, 21. All right, Damien. Oh my God, we got 23, 22, and 21. Wow. <laughs> this one's tough. Oh. You know what it is? I'm right there, I did. Okay. Do you guys know what that is? That one's that one's a little tough. Tanner. Tanner, that's blowing in a uh, Nintendo cartridge. That's blowing in a Nintendo cartridge right there. Yeah, that's right. They're right there. Right there. All right, here you guys go. Back machine. You gotta ring in with your name, whoever said that. Quissy, Quissy. Grancy. Back machine. <laughs> Julia? I no idea. Damien. Oh, Julia. I'm sorry, I don't think it's a fax machine, ain't it? No. No, it's not a fax machine. Danner, do you know that one? Is that a typewriter? It's not a typewriter. It's the dot matrix printer. The one that had the holes on uh, the side. I had one of those. You, you, you guys remember those? Where, the, where you had to take the paper off the sides, peel it off, where it there, had all the holes on it? not a chance that they had no. one since <laughs> the oldest one here was born in 98 and I think we got rid of ours in 96. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm, it's really nice if you guys knew what we were talking yeah. about. At least not making me feel so old. I've heard of it, at least. <laughs> Alright, um, let's do another one of these. How about this? Julia. Julia! What? Your call cannot be completed. You know, that one's really weird, but it says from the phone you're using. Keep that in mind. From the phone you're yeah, using. What phone? Landline. <laughs> no, that's all right. all right. You know what it's from? I do. Right. Damien or Quincy? Is it something to do? This is Quincy. Is okay. there something to do with the Hi, Motorola Quincy. or something? No, Quince, Quince. No. D, D dog. Oh, uh, I don't know. Just I don't know. I had normal calls like that. <laughs> Damien, <laughs> actually, I like Damien. I'm glad you called I'm, back. I'm, I'm happy favorite. for you. Fifty one oh one. I apologize. Okay, <laughs> you gave us some good stuff. <laughs> Tanner, yeah. that's a payphone. That's a payphone right there, you guys. Guys, you used to have to pay to use a phone. You didn't cents? just have one in your pocket. It's right. You guys go. You should call the operator and make fun of her or something like that. I don't know. He's doing my school, my man. dad would call and say, "I got to make a collect call." Okay, if you had to get a hold of somebody, and then the, you would when the thing. This is where I learned this from. And when the, you would record your message, you record your name on it. They'd be like, yeah. "All right, you get to collect call from," and you would usually hear like Tanner. Do you accept charges? But if you did it fast enough, you could just give the payphone number and they would call you back. Hey, it's Dad. You got a seven three one four six five five six one. Call me back. And then, we, and then we, and then we would wait for a ring. Your dad had some of the best ideas. The other one that I really like is don't put a stamp on, don't put a stamp on your letter, but use the return address as the address you want it to go to. Yes. And then they just, they just mail your letter for you for free, son. And, was, and back then, what was a, what was the stamp? Like 20 cents. <laughs> yes. And he's just like, oh, that's how big stamp gets you. What do you guys think this is? <laughs> that's tough. Tamagotchi. Oh. Oh, Quincy. Quincy said Tamagotchi. Oh. Good job, Quincy. All right, you guys are all tied. Whoever wins this gets the next point wins. Yeah, why not? All right, you guys ready? Yeah, all right. <laughs> From yes. outdated sounds. Yeah. 
Quincy. This is Damien right now. Oh, sorry. Quincy! Quincy, what's wrong with you? What would you do? <laughs> that, that, is, that wasn't me. Why what, did you plug you into the Matrix right at that time? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What was it? Who's ringing with their name? That was Julia. Julia. We heard it a thousand <laughs> times. Julia. Yes. Go, go, what's what the answer now? I, I said fax machine. Oh, that's wrong! Oh. Damien and Quincy, do you have an I? Do you have? Do you know what this sound is? God, I am oh, feeling I so know. old right now. Yeah, that they didn't immediately. Death? Get it. I don't know. I have no clue. Oh my! I'm just gonna man. take a guess and say Tyler. Wait, hold on. Who just said that? Ring in with your name. Damien. That was dial up, ain't it? Yes, yes Damien. Hey. Oh my God! Step behind the underdog story. He calls him. Nobody liked Damien. Everybody hated Damien. He gets hang up and he on. Wins. We he calls back and wins. Bye, Julia. Bye, Quince Quince. They're gonna make a Disney movie about that. I'm gonna tell you what right now. I'm gonna ask for a statue to be created in Damien's likeness. Yes. To be set out there. I want it put right in 5101's front yard. Can't believe oh, they the talk. They these, te rent. these people in these text lines talking so bad about you, Damien. Know yeah. that we are always in your corner. Yeah, yeah, Dame, Dame. <laughs> Hold on, really quick. We're gonna get your information, and uh, we're gonna send you some stuff. Stand by. My God. Yeah, that is a that is a, that should be a Disney movie. That yeah. is a comeback story. I like yeah. this. Uh, how did she know the aim thing, but she couldn't figure out dial up? Oh, dude, didn't that make you feel a little old with nobody knew it dude, right away? We used to be able to play this. We, I remember playing this game at IXX, and the second that you would hear, doot, 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 and people would just be like, it's dial up, dial up, dial up. Now these three youngsters. We'll finish up. Too. I got a bunch more of these sounds we'll play next. I All hate right. these people. It is the Jake and Tanner Show. Good morning.
Are you guys not live streaming the show? And if not, why? No, we are. We're right here live in the studio. We do it every single day. Plus, our bonus segment yeah. is live, and you can rewatch them, or you can watch them live. All you got to do is text LINK, L-I-N-K, to 71090s. But they're for our little See, peepees. Yeah, they're they're for the peepees, which stands for P1 Patreon. But, right. yeah, you know, just for the sake of saving time, right. there, are, there are little peepees. Um, the issue is, is that even... When we started, if people were like, why is your stream not working? We'd just be like, oh, we get a hold of the engineer for the website. But now it's like there's 50 places that they could be listening to this show. God, dude, right? Weird. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, maybe they're not talking about the cameras. They might not be talking about the cameras. They could be like, why isn't it on uh, TuneIn? Oh, or, or I didn't even why think is the that. website down? Or So I had to ask, like, where are you trying to listen? Somebody said during that game. Yeah, you don't get any sound during the game because oh, the reason yeah. being, well, you get our voices, but anything that comes on the internet, we can't play because we get sued and the we whole get point, flagged by the internet. Yeah, and the whole point of that, we get a copyright strike, and the whole point of that game was these are copyrighted sounds. <laughs> right, So, but if you want to watch us live in the studio, you can, and you yeah. can listen to us too. I mean, just like you're not hearing this. If you hit three, we're at uh, five. See, now you can just hear it for just a second. Yeah. Well, we got to get rid of it because this is Vanilla Ice and he needs money. Right. Actually, he doesn't. Did I ever tell you that? How much does he have? Um, hold on. And he doesn't like it for this song because like half goes to, to the estate for Queen and the other half goes to whoever else co-wrote it. He, he, like the one joke he said, I lose money when they play that song. $800,000 a year. That's what he makes. More than half of that income is royalties connected to Ice Ice Baby. How? I have no idea. I but, I, but I just read, that I was just reading something on this a while ago. I thought he lost that lawsuit to where he had to pay. He's, or maybe did he finally buy? I wonder if he bought the rights May, to He that might song. have. Like, I mean, me, it really is his now. Like, why don't you just let me buy the rights to Under Pressure, I think. And then he can just have all the money from it. Why not? Let me see something. Yeah, he's worth like $10 million right now. Oh, good for him. Anyway, hey, yeah, just text LINK, L-I-N-K, to 71090, and you can watch us live in the studio, or it, while you're there, Sign while you're texting, pee -pee. if you ever want to uh, uh, buy JTX tickets, you can do that. We're going to have a, a live show on stage at the Meyer Theater. Thank you, Prospera. We're doing it not this weekend, but next weekend, the 22nd and 23rd. One, Well, it's two nights, but you choose one of the nights. We're giving you a couple options. Yeah. So the people that are like, oh, I can't make it because, you know, I have a, we gave you two nights. You can make it. Let's go through some of these sounds that we didn't get to and tell me what you think they are. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be able to hear this on the. I just put it in three if we get screwed over. Uh -oh. All right. It's more uh -oh. fun that way. Uh -oh. You know what that is? No. I've heard it, but That's... I couldn't tell you what it is. I can't either. It is the sound of an instant messenger when you'd get a message. It's, not, it it's say, like you got uh -oh. mail. But it's this is just an instant message oh, thing. It'd just be like, yeah. It'd go, uh oh. This. Oh, dude. Good afternoon. At the tomb, Pacific Daylight Time will be. That's the time in Temp Lady. That is something you kids don't understand this. But that is something when, when your power went out and you had to figure out what time it was to reset the clocks. I think you, you would have to call her, and she would tell you exactly the time, or if you wanted to know the temperature, she would tell you that. And nope. it was a constant, sorry, updated recording every yeah. second. I wonder, I wonder if my parents did that when I was younger and I just didn't know about it. Oh, I'm sure they did. They, they had I'm to. Almost, because because otherwise, otherwise, did my five, dad five, just five, guess? 555-1212. Five, 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 <laughs> one, two, one, two. No, 555 five, five numbers were always fake. I don't know. I, that was, the, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I swear to God, time and... I thought yeah. it was, yeah. Phone number. I want to see if I'm very close at all. She can still be going on, No, right? she is. We've done it. Oh, she's still doing it. Yeah, it's it's a recording. She's I can't not, remember. She's not here. <laughs> she doesn't pick That up was the her full-time job. Did that, you know that? Yeah, I it did worked. hear that. That's how she died, but doing yeah. her favorite thing. I, I hope. I hope my dad. My, can I get a little water? My voice is a little, a little parched. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, give us water. Okay. Oh God! Another call. <laughs> You're in my world now, Granny. The time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. That's uh. That's funny, though. That's how you would do that. That's what you would do when you needed to reset your clocks. I guess I just figured that my parents just, like, once you had children, you just knew the time. 
That is a dad thing. It is the, a dad thing. I like that Freebie Hot Wings used to have it on there. Hot Wings' power was he could tell the time of day within actual hours <laughs> just by looking at the sun. <laughs> and I was like, that hours. Kind of dad thing right there. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what a teletype is. This might be way be, even before my time. Yeah, I have no idea what a teletype is. How is that? How is that just nonsense sound copyrighted? Or is these not copyrights anymore? These are just old. These are just old. Yeah, oh! these are just these are just outdated sounds. Okay. This is weird ASMR. This is nostalgic, outdated is it, ASMR that's putting me to sleep. Is this uh is that a cassette? No, that is a camera. Oh you gotta like the wind. Wind, that's yeah. what the winding was. I would have got it if if you gave me the flash where it, Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean everybody knows what that is, right? Probably I, not. Really? They probably can assume that's a phone, but dude, when's the last time you they would say that's one of those ringtones. That's that old ringtone. But that's Weird. what phones just sounded like. If you're I, if you're a youngster, if you're in your twenties, do you know any of these that we're playing right now, or are you having a difficult time? Text us or call us. I know. You're twenty one and you don't know how to use the give it to an old person, they'll dial it for you and then hand it to you and you're gonna talk into that device rather than talking with your thumbs. You know what's crazy? Most of these kids probably don't even know what a dial tone is. <laughs> They do not know what a busy signal is either, probably. Yeah, because who... Who... I think my in-laws don't... I think they finally stopped paying for that service. You use it to pay yeah, for a for, second for like line. a call waiting... Call well, waiting Call line, waiting, yeah. Basically. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> you have to pay for... Crazy! And do you rem <laughs> remember when you'd call your friend's house and you didn't know if they had an answering machine? So you'd just sit there and let it ring. And then you'd have to be like, times. How long do I let this ring? Maybe yeah. they're on the way to it. Oh, and the dad's going to be so mad. Yeah. yeah. And if they didn't have an answering machine, it just rang forever until you hung up. Something's happening with Appleton's phones where you can't just dial. You have to do the area code now. On all of them? For here? Yeah. Oh. I think Pang sent something a while ago. And oh, yeah, but does that work with this? I don't know. Because remember before, you can't you can't do the area code when you call in Appleton with these phones. It took us five years to figure out how these phones work. Um, Man, I thought there was something. I don't know if it's even worth talking about, but... Yeah. Anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, call mm -hmm. and let us know. What about this one really quick? Oh, this is really bad audio. Sorry. What was that? That was a an old cash register. Oh. oh. Typewriter, right? Typewriter, yeah. So let's see if we get... Hang on. So, yeah, the new law is you got to put in the area code in for the Appleton. What, what was happening? That was a typewriter. No, 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 no. What was happening that they felt like they needed to make a law? I don't know. That's a good question. That's Pac-Man, right? That's Pac-Man. Pac <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> That's Pac-Man. I just Miss, said that like a, my dad. Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, check that one out. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. 6446. <laughs> my God, I'm having a lot of fun here. I remember setting your answering machine to fake messages to make people think you were there? Hey, what's up? I can't. Hello? What was that? I can't hear you. Oh, how's it going? Uh, I got gotcha. you. Got you. We're not here right now. Or the ones that are, hey, it's Jake and Tanner. We're not here right now. We're probably shopping. So if you could leave your number and a message, we'll be sure to call you back. Bye. Mwah. And, yeah, that oh, was really fun. Do you know which ones? I uh, want to do that right now. I've been seeing on TikTok. It's from my generation. It might be yours too, but it was cell phones. And you'd play a song and you for your um, answering machine, and you'd oh, have yeah, the song yeah, going, yeah. and then you'd turn it down and be like, hey, this is Tanner, <laughs> leave a message after the beep, and then you'd bring it back to the song. <laughs> Dude, I did, do you know I haven't set up my, and I should, 
the voicemail low because I have kids and they might want to get back a hold of me with doctors and stuff. But I haven't set that up since I've been at IXX. I haven't you, had one. You and I still firmly believe what you did was the smartest thing I've ever seen. You do. And I've known you for 10 years now. And it's the smartest thing you've ever done. And it was you set up your voicemail as an old Spanish woman. <laughs> Because you said, then if I don't answer, it's because I don't like you. And the person who thought they were calling me thinks they accidentally called an old Spanish woman, so they never <laughs> called me <laughs> back. You, you had a recording <laughs> of, a, of a Spanish woman doing a voicemail. And you were just, and I was like, I think I have the wrong number because I called like a Spanish woman. Yeah, like, nah, it's me. I just didn't answer. Yeah. <laughs> so what the hell? You know, the one that I was one of my favorites that I had for a while. Um and I took it directly from house. It's him with the, the aunt yeah. doing that. And it goes, you've reached a number that is no longer in service. And I did that. And people are like, oh, dude, I didn't realize. I thought you had a different number or something. I was like, I That's love brilliant. that. Isn't that such a house thing that to do? That is a house thing to do. Yeah, it's fun. That's about a this furry one? house. That's dumb. TV static. Yeah, how about this? <laughs> Year. That is PlayStation 2. Nope. PlayStation. Nope. No game. No gaming system. Well, I mean, you can play games on it. It's a computer, but it's. Five. No, yep. I thought that was the sound the PlayStation. Made. That's bad. This is gonna be bad audio too. What was that? Yeah, that's a VCR rewinding a cassette to, or oh. uh, uh, VHS. Yeah, I remember. Again, I probably have told this story, but my dad said. He remembers the first time going to get a VCR. He rented them. This was new. And you could, there was like five movies to choose from. And he said he stopped there. You could rent a VCR and get a, a VHS. And you would take it home for the weekend. And you would watch a movie. You'd set up the, the VCR. And, and then you had to take both things back. That is, um, that is a whole different level. Dude, right? And that wasn't even that long ago. And now, I did you know that this, this is what rich people do? This is a service. I didn't even know you did this. For $300,000, you can have somebody come set up the streaming service for movies in theater, for like movie theaters. Wait, what? Yes. Wait, for $3,000 like a year? No, $300,000. Okay, so $300,000. You get all the equipment and the streaming service to stream movies as they are in theaters. So you get your, you sit in your theater room, yep. and then right when it hits... Theaters, right, you get it. And people do this. Yep. Whoa. I, I watched, uh, there was a dude on TikTok, he was like, I'm an installer for this. It's $300,000. And I, a guy called me and he's like, "I have. is this just a one-time thing or is this like, can I do it at all of my houses? And he's like, no, it's just one per house. And he said, okay, well, then I need you to do it at both of my lake houses, too. Oh, my too. God. So he was spending almost a million dollars just so he didn't have to go to the movie theater. How great. Isn't that awesome? I, that's something if I had that kind of money, I, I would, would do probably it. do it. Oh, 100%. I would have you go like to a, your theater room and you're like, hey, the new movie, the new the new it. Helen Hunt movie come out. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Invite friends for the Helen Hunt. And then you sit in your theater room, dude. So Which great. Which is Helen Hunt themed. <laughs> yep. He's got like a Twister poster. Yeah, and right. And it's just like another everywhere. Twister poster. <laughs> got your chairs that are shaped as Helen Hunt just <laughs> sitting. sitting. And then you sit, you go to the bathroom and it's just her mouth. Mouth. And it's a urinal. Yep. Dude, Did I we just come up with a new uh, business idea? I, I want a Helen Hunt themed something anything, <laughs> anything. <laughs> helen hunt restaurant we probably don't have to pay her right because you could just well, get she's one of those, dead you could get one of the don't do that to me is she i no. Well, she's i mean her career is for sure oh yeah definitely there. but what other movies was she in twister i know but that's all i could think of <laughs> twister oh. well she she did a tv show caught with a tornado or was that the movie wasn't she in one with bill paxton Twister. Oh. Oh, the cow. Yeah, the cow one. Cow. Yeah, cow. What, what about the one yeah. with uh, her and uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman? Was it with like storms? Yeah, they were, they were a storm like chaser. A st oh. oh, dude, yeah. No, that was the movie where she was a storm chaser. There was one with yep. the cow where she, I think she was doing a veterinarian. Yeah. And then there was the storm chaser. Then there was Twister well, the, about the tornado. She had. And then Bill. Had Dorothy. Yeah. Yeah. 
in the tr- and then there was that one movie where her and another maybe Mr. Paxson or something didn't they they tied themselves yeah, to a pipe to a pipe with just a belt which I, I don't thought, know what name of that movie is I but can't yeah. remember either but I thought right away they should have um at the end of that movie it should have been an advertisement. They should have, whoever made that belt. Mm-hmm. It's like Dickie's belt. <laughs> <laughs> Can withstand whatever was passing them. I can't remember yeah. what was passing them. I can't remember either. It was some sort or of was a uh, high, high winds. Could have been. Or maybe a, a, a hurricane, but on a much smaller scale, isolated. What did they drive? What did they, there was another movie that she was in that she was constantly driving like in fields and, and um, like dirt roads. She's, yeah. And, yeah. And she was a weather man. Was she the weatherman? She was a weather person. The for weather sure. person. Oh, and that movie that her dad died right in the beginning, and which oh, yeah. fueled her whole thing. To oh, she was really good in that really one. She was good. super good in that one. Super good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember that. Well, you're right. She does have a huge. Yeah, um, I guess once you once you sit back and think about all the films Helen Hunt has been in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let's do some more of these. I'm having fun. <laughs> That's dumb. That's a CD skipping. How about this one? Two-part question. What is this? And then what is this? I don't know. Game it's a Boy. Game. It's a Game oh. Boy. What's the game? Tetris. Yeah, good job. You dude. just had to give me the thing. <laughs> what about this? That one's tough. Printer. No, it's floppy disk. Wait, that could have been... A uh, printer. Yeah. Do you remember the game? Which game? For the computer that was called King's Quest. And you could type in sentences yes. on the computer. Like you would go up to something and then you would type in, um, ask tree how it's doing. Yep. Holy cats. Uh, and then there was another game... Little years down the road, it was just for the pervs, and it was called Leisure Suit Larry. Where are my pervs at? Anybody know Leisure Suit Larry? Give me a perv. <laughs> high five. Don't <laughs> high five. Don't touch me. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Do you, what was the one game? <laughs> it was Dragon something. It had that guy, and if he died, he would turn into bones and then fall. Is this a computer game? Yeah. It's not Dragon Quest. It, I don't believe it was Dragon Quest. Dungeon, dungeon, Dungeons quest? and Dragons. No, with dice. Remember the guy would turn into bones. Was Helen Hunt in it? Mm, maybe. I'm confused. Me too. <gasps> what was that? Oh, I think I do know what you're talking about now. What is that? Because I remember we had it when I was younger. And I remember I thought the game was impossible. That and the game Mission Impossible, I thought you just couldn't beat it. I thought that was the point of the game. I thought the game was like a joke, that it was just Mission Impossible. It's like, possible you can't <laughs> even beat it. And then I realized that I was just really bad at it. Yeah. But this one, I could never get past it. Dra- Dragon's Lair! I'd have to look that up. Oh Yeah, look up Dragon's Lair. Slayer? Lair. Not L- Slayer. Not Slayer. Oh, you know what? Dragon Slayer, I think, is the one that Helen Hunt was in. With this one. With this guy. Remember? Oh. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. And he would turn into bones. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say Doom. I remember that taking over my school one time. Yeah, that was pretty intense. All right. We got to get going. Yeah. We got things we got to do. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you know who... um, Likes games, but doesn't play any. But you would think they're playing a game Who? because of the deals they give you. And you're like, dang, slow down. You playing games with me? Yeah, Duncan. Oh, you know, I heard that when they play those games with the deals and the things, they like to uh, uh, use pumpkins. D- yeah, and honestly, if you are a big fan of pumpkin, right now is the best time to love Duncan. Yeah, it's pumpkin picking season at Duncan. That's right. I heard. Get- well, it's true, and you can get cold brew. You can, and that which is a smooth cold brew topped with velvety pumpkin cream, cold foam. Mm-hmm. Amazing, amazing, absolutely also, amazing. They got pumpkin spice signature latte, which is a rich espresso topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. And here's the thing: now, if you're a DD Perk member, which it's super simple, how would you go about doing that? Uh, if if I wanted to be a DD Perks member, yeah. well, first I would download the app. Yep, the app right away. App Store, Google Play, anywhere you download apps. Yep. 
I would download that, and then it's like a free sign up to be a DD Perks member. It is in yeah. three dollars. I think it's only three bucks. Yeah. Then I mean, like, how do you even pass that up? Lots of deals, lots of things they want to get you for free. All happening in Duncan right now. Okay, and uh, know that real quick. One more time. Sorry, I lost my lost my train of thought. Pumpkin spice signature latte. You can get right there. You can get these. You can get pumpkin themed food too, donuts, and you can get all kinds of Munchkins things. And Munchkins and muffins yeah. and stuff. And also, uh, they got they they got that smooth cold brew topped with velvety pumpkin cream cold foam. All right. America runs on Duncan. I feel like we lost it there. We kind of brought it back. Maybe towards the end, yeah. but I think it's good. More Jake and Tanner show next. So we let, we um, were doing some videos yesterday, and um, in one of the videos there was a, we had to use a ball gag, and this is by the way for Jake and Tanner experience. If you're going to go there, which tickets are still available, you can see what we're using this for and what we're talking about. Lots of fun. Text JTX to seven ten ninety and get some tickets. Um, <laughs> but we left the box somewhere. You know where we shot it. We it, it must have fell behind a thing or something. And um, sales our sales <laughs> girls just came in and they're like, "Hey, by the way, we just had a client in there, <laughs> and, and they I, noticed it." And uh, this makes me think that you and I just aren't part 
of like this, like we just don't understand the sales at all. Yeah, because, because I was, I was like, which which client? Like, did they? They're like Theta Care, <laughs> and that must be our biggest client. And I was just like, oh, did she like it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, because oh yeah, she did react like that. Yeah, she yeah. said it's Theta Care. Okay, I was like, yeah. well, it, I, <laughs> we should get a list of like. Least to like, we should get a list of clients that would be like your uh, a list of like instantly fired if we should make them leave. That would be really great. Like, that may, would be actually like, really nice uh, just to avoid any kind of conversation may, about yeah, them. Maybe fired, mm-hmm. um, talking to because that one time nuts. we got um blackballed, I guess. Is that what you call that? Yeah, yeah, by, by one, by one, and then. Luckily, I hope they, that changes down. Me too. I hope that changes down the road, and we get the apology. The place, one hundred percent, because that place is beautiful, yeah. and I wanted to go to a show there ah. a few years ago. This we weren't even talking. This didn't even happen here. Yeah, but like I, I, but I didn't know if like they had my picture up like behind the counter, like they do when you shoplift at a grocery store, and said, "Look out for this guy." Hmm. That's just all kinds of weird that day. Hi, it's uh, the Jake and Tanner show. Good morning. Please join us for Jake and Tanner experience. We'd love to. We'd love to have you here. I just can't take the pretty that those. God, because I see you all the time, and you're all right looking. But these those two sales girls are just beautiful, and they just walk in, and it's just like. I get it. It's just it's like, just like you shouldn't say it like that. Do you get what I'm saying? The, like, about do you know, that, I can't, have I ever a, said anything about you you that wasn't just the most complimentary thing? Yeah. I'm, I've only said yeah. compliments to you. I think I'm nicer to you than your Wait, wife, for I, sure. I shouldn't say what? About you? Yeah, when or you're like, that? I'm okay looking. Oh, Oh um, no! Oh I'm no! No! Interesting no, 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 looking no, at that. No, no, no! You're very no, no, I, no. Nope, I don't want this. Come, I, this is dude. This is stupid. Oh no! I would like if I was into dudes. If I was a gay man, I'd, I'd be all over you. Right now, I can here. Come here. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. You need some tickles? I mean, it's been a minute, man. I can't. It's been a while. Oh man! I'm um, just saying. I was just saying. Like I just see you every day. I didn't mean okay looking. I mean, I just see you every day, and then and then you're the only one I really talk to, and then two beautiful sales girl walk in, and it's just like, dang, compared to Tan. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get it, but, like, you shouldn't say it. That's what I'm trying I to get across. I didn't, no, you know you're a good-looking guy. You're two different genders, so I was just like, I, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. You shouldn't put me in a situation like this. <laughs> How dare you make very me ga- feel bad for gas- hurting your feelings? Very gaslighty right now, aren't you? <laughs> Just Stop t- brushing your teeth. It's turning me on. <laughs> Doesn't everybody brush their teeth like that? <laughs> Both hands. I yeah, I usually use two hands to brush my teeth. Stop. Or I use two toothbrushes. <laughs> One slapping you in the forehead. <laughs> 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 All right, enough. Can we it's not fun today. I want to make a commercial now. <laughs> Nine out of ten dentists <laughs> recommend using two toothbrushes to brush your teeth. <laughs> Order now. We'll send you two toothbrushes and one you can suction cup to your mirror that can hit you in the face while you go. Oh, I've never felt so clean. <laughs> Ah, God. All right. We could have, like, testimonials. <laughs> enough is enough. That way too much fun. Um, Do you want to hear Will, William Shatner? William Shatner is, I was going to say Kurt Cobain, but that is not right. Captain Kurt Cobain. Yeah, Kurt, Captain Kurt Cobain, um, who was a lead singer of a spaceship. Yeah. Back, back in the day. <laughs> they had them. Yeah. Um. And so, he, um crazy he ended up killing himself but here he is now <laughs> yeah. yeah he got injured in the 90s because of courtney love hewitt All right so anyway this is him because he went up in jeff bezos rocket in space yeah. or whatever and he's floating around in the in the little craft i need to ask you some questions after this too okay and by the way this video not this one but the next one i'm going to play you stick around because i feel like i feel like 
there's so much wrong and so much going on in this video of when when yeah. Captain Kurt Cobain lands. But hang on, this is him weightlessness right now. Oh Jesus! Carmen line. Oh, <laughs> no description can equal this. Dude, Wait. oh my God, he actually talks like that. He is the most youthful <laughs> oh, looking ninety-one-year-old I've ever seen. <laughs> This is us. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm telling you. Holy hell. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude, I want to experience weightlessness. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. My God. I can't believe this. Howard Stern said that he is one of the best. It was one of Howard's first interviews, yeah. and he says he's so fun because he gets it. He understands that it's just entertainment and stupid mm -hmm. and he plays along and he's really good at uh well that's good being an interview person or what do you call those inner talkies taught the talkies uh, an old talkie yeah. face okay um, what did you need to ask me questions and what is this other video uh, well it's the same this is when he lands okay, okay? and you, i'm gonna have you come around and sit on uncle jakey's lap here in a okay. second so we can watch this it's not tuesday <laughs> <laughs> but he um what are they doing like it, it, is it, <laughs> no, I know, that. <laughs> but why are we going to? What is he? What is Bezos doing? Is he trying to just get anybody can pay for a ticket to go to space? Yeah, they want to privatize space travel and sell tickets to it. How much is that going to run me? A lot. How much? A because, lot. Because Shatner's, Hundreds, Shatner's tens of thousands of dollars. Shatner's like everyone should experience this, and it's like, dude, I got to mm. pay this <laughs> off or what? I, you know, most people have bills, Shatner. Yeah, you know what I want to experience? I want to experience a twenty dollars steak once. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I look right. at that, I go, where are the chicken fingers? So. This lands, this pod lands, and there's the TV crew. Or some oh, the head of the rocket. Yeah, the head of the rocket lands. Bezos goes over there to greet Shatner, you know, because they're getting out of the, the, the ship or whatever, yeah. or whatever the head of the rocket. And Bezos could, I mean, just look at the difference of people that were younger, the couple people that are younger in the background, yeah. or that was in the ship, to Shatner. That's what I thought. Hang on really quick, right here. You have to work on because of not only is it different than what you thought. Watch. It happens so quickly. This is Bezo not giving a crap about what Shatner's about ready to say. He wants to party in the background with the other people. Yeah. You know what my... my the impression I had that I never ex expected to have. Shit, they're popping champagne in the background. Uh, listen. Here he goes. Stops talking to... It. Not I mean, even listening Ch to Chandler, him at all. And watch this. Shatner wants to explain what it's this. like. Here. You want a little of this? And it's champagne, and, he, and Shatner's like, no, I don't want any. I mean, it's just, it's it's so just to me, you got, you got Shatner, who's trying to be philosophical and really give his yeah. point of view and be an emotional about it. And then you got the younger people that rode the ship with Be Bezos. I don't think Bezos wrote it, but he's there and they're just dumping champagne like yeah. they just got off a new Six Flags ride or they just won the NBA mm -hmm. championship or whatever. And I just feel like you got two, that like you got the really good part of humanity and then you got the really crappy part yeah, of humanity. But also, we've all been trapped by a 90 plus year old person <laughs> yeah, talking. I know, but this I feel might have bad. Been, he might have said that same sentence to Bezos like six times. I just feel like and when you watch Shatner here waiting for them to get done, oh, I just feel like he doesn't, like he felt like a little uh, offended. Oh, yeah, he's like nobody's... Yeah, I mean... The champagne showers have become... And now listen to the news person. William Shatner taking in the moment. No, he wasn't taking it in. He no. felt disrespected. Like, yeah, he Bezos was... just doesn't care what he has to say. And Bezos is just... Do you know how much money he's thinking he's well, making right now? that's a thing, dude. Uh, 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 Shatner is so used to being the richest person in the room. Right. He that is so true. Like Bezos is much more important and has much more money. Not more important, that's really wrong, but definitely has much more money. Yeah. Like he's got a lot more money. He's got way more things going on. Usually it's like who's the highest respected person in the room? It's William Shatner. He's a legend. He was Captain Kirk Cobain. Um he was he did that thing with Rocket Man and then he was just kind of Shatner. Like we just knew who he was. But now you've got if it's Jeff Bezos and you just got off of his rocket, 
Like it's like you're not even just sitting in a conference room. Like you just got down off of his rocket. You're not the most important person in the room anymore. I just feel like it's the difference between a 90 year old and then the younger ones and how they're. Deal, you know, I mean, Shatner doesn't have too much life probably left, and so what he just experienced it yeah. was amazing. And mm-hmm. then the forty year olds or thirty year olds or however young they are, they're just doing champagne belly shots. Yeah, but I mean, it's still. I said it before. You know what that what Jeff Bezos looked like? Jeff Bezos looked like you in an event with a person who just won't stop talking to you. <laughs> you just uh, like that's yeah. what it looks like. Where you just kind of you turn it. You're like, oh, oh, let me get some of that. Uh, uh, sorry, so oh, just real quick, and then you walk away, and you're never seen again. Oh, I've done it. We've all so, done it. Jeff Bezos, two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars per ticket. For space flight. Okay, cool. That's something I'll never... And plus, again, I don't need to be in space. Don't care. Yeah. The Earth is flat. We know this is all propaganda. Yeah, we already know it's all... Like, what? you can't even get to space because of the dome. He's the huppy guy. Oh, Hugh B. and Abraham! Yeah, that's who that that's guy is. That's the only other guy I... Uh, that's the only other thing I know him from. Mm-hmm. Hugh B. and Abraham. All right. Must get going now. Just know that uh, we must. you can put that on your bucket list if you want to. I don't know when that's going to be. When is that available? When is that taking place? I don't know. I feel like you got two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You could probably figure it out. Yeah, yeah. like if that's you've got, true. Like if you got, got two hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> that you want to spend on a ride. Right. Yeah, I get that. All right. Take from Jake and Tanner. We're going to play some commercials. Get right back to us and uh, try to give away two hundred dollars next.
I don't care what you say. Ghost Adventures is real. Remember when I was having a really tough time with that? When when the <laughs> when the guy came out and said, "I think that guy's back on it." That Aaron? Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> the guy comes out and he's like, "It was all fake." Like we might find something, but they would always make us go way harder, and we'd had to go back and do different reactions. It's like you sat there. Like your wife just texts you and says, I'm leaving you for a dentist. Like so you were sad. so. I was sleeping with a Bible under my pillow. I was getting so <laughs> terrified of ghost adventures. I want to see if the, is he still doing this. It, no, he's not. Somebody said something and I laughed so hard. They're like, this should let everybody know ghosts cannot harm the living. Because if they could, there would be virtually no white people left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Hi, who's this? Hey. Hello? What's up? What's up, man? Who's this? This is Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike, you want to play for $200? Oh, yeah, sure. All right, Mike. Um, Tanner's going to leave the room. Mike, you've never listened to this show before, have you? I have listened to this show. I have played one time before, and Jake, he kicked my butt. Oh, wow. This must have been a long time ago because that was when I was playing. All right, Mike. Years ago. Cool. Glad to have you back, Mikey. Tanner's going to leave the room, right. but we're going to ask you these questions. Now, remember, the old days, you used to be able to pass, and we could come back to the questions. We don't do that anymore. Now, it's just one time, all right? So, if you say pass, that will be right. your answer. Um, when you're done, I'm going to put you on hold. Tanner's going to come back in the room, get asked the same questions. He's left the room, so he can't hear any of the questions. And uh, if he wins, it goes up $20 a day. Big thanks to Prospera Credit Union with Life Stage Personal Guidance. They help you connect the dots in your financial journey. And um, so it'll be $220 tomorrow. If you win, you're getting $200 today. If there happens to be a tie, Mike, lowest time will win. So you take as long as you want on these questions. But remember, lowest time will win if there's a tie, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, Mike, I wish you the best of luck. And your time for Take from Jake Tanner, $200 edition begins in three. Two, one. What color is the central square on a Scrabble board? That's uh, gray. How many apples can you put in an empty box? Six. What is produced when a magnet spins in a coil of wire? Heat. Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? Can you repeat that? Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? Pass. What toy was originally created as a dog's chew toy? A rubber bone? Time. All right, Mike Tanner! Tanner's re-entering the room. I just screamed at him. How do you feel you did? Huh? I, I felt like it did horrible again, Jake. All right, well, hang on, man. Let's hold on, Mike. Maybe you'll win this. Tanner! I'm going to put you on hold. Don't go anywhere, okay? We're going to grade these all together. Sounds good. All right. Your time begins to be joined. Ah! What color is the central square on a Scrabble board? Gray with a blue star. How many apples can you put in an empty box? Five. What is produced when a magnet spins in a coil of wire? Heat. Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? Sicily. What toy was originally created as a dog's chew toy? Hula hoop. I ain't right. All right, so welcome back, Mike. Mike, let's see if you're going to win these today. All right. $200. Maybe it's going to be $220 for somebody tomorrow. What color is the central square on the Scrabble board? Mike said gray. Tanner said gray. It's pink. It doesn't have blue star in it, though? I don't know. Damn it. Well, how many apples can you put in an empty box? Mike said six. Tanner said five. One. Because what? the box isn't empty after you put one in it. Oh, so oh. we're just throwing riddles <laughs> in. I don't know. Riddles on the random yeah. tri trivia generator. We're just tossing in riddles. <laughs> <laughs> what is produced when a magnet spins in a coil of wire? You both said heat. It's electricity. 
That's what I was looking for. Maybe heat, too, but I was looking for the word electricity. Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? Mike said, pass. Tanner said, Sicily. Sicily is correct. Yes! Tanner's winning by one. What toy was originally created as a dog's chew toy? Um, Mike said, rubber bone. Tanner said, hula hoop. Rubber duck. Hey, I'm a winner. <laughs> All right, Mike. Not again, Michael. We'll talk to you in like two more years, okay? All right. See you, buddy. Made somebody happy, though, because we're playing yeah. for 220 when we play tomorrow. On Friday, Beer Friday. Friday. Yeah. Ooh. And I saw, I got the list of beer that we're getting. By, by the way, from Corks and Caps, what are we getting? Uh, we're getting a bourbon barrel aged stout. <laughs> Nervous. And a peanut butter cup. Oh, yay. Yeah. Oh, I like that. So. Yeah. And remember, fall is here, so you can buy the limited edition Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel Variety Pack. Enjoy four flavors, maple pear, apple crisp, toasted marshmallow, and, of course, pumpkin spice. Nine mm. ten. what are we giving away? We're going to give away uh, Nelly tickets when he comes to the Oshkosh Arena, but you'll also be qualified for a flyaway trip to Vegas. Cool. We're going to do that at nine ten. so keep listening. And also, if you get a chance, text JTX to 71090. Or go to the website, 959kissfm.com, because in two weeks, Meyer Theater, well, in two weekends, Meyer Theater, Green Bay, the Jake and Tanner Experience live show for you.